All right, everybody. I'm Christine Morell. Today, we're going to be talking about how I get 3,000 organic followers on Instagram a month without bots, without posting every day, without running ads, or even without a hit song. I mean, these are all organic followers. These are people that are choosing to follow you. Okay. They're not bots. They're not bot. Nothing like that. These are all real people who really want to listen to your music. And that's what our goal is. Our goal is to have followers that want to listen to our music. If you listen to a lot of people, a lot of people are like, you just need to work on getting followers. It doesn't matter where they're from. It doesn't matter, you know, but it does. Because if you're a hip hop artist and you have a bunch of people that follow you that only like country music, does that really benefit your career? Not really, because they're not going to be listening to your music. They're not going to be buying your music. They're not going to be streaming your music. They're not going to be, you know, supporting your crowdfunding. They're not going to come to your shows. What we want are targeted followers. That's what we call them. We want people who want us to listen to our music, not just metrics. We don't just want to say we have a million followers because that doesn't help us. It doesn't help us make money. It doesn't help us book shows. It doesn't help us do anything. It just makes us look kind of cool on social media and none of that matters. Right? We want real results from our music career, which means we need to get the right type of followers. Does that make sense? Everybody put that in the chat box. I'm going to be asking you guys questions throughout this. I'm going to make sure that you guys understand. And if you don't understand, feel free to put questions in there because my goal is that at the end of the day, I want you guys to go, wow, that was the most awesome webinar that I've ever been to. Christine rocks. And now I have a zillion followers on Instagram. That's what I want to happen. Okay. All right, everyone's saying yes, everyone's saying facts. Kevin says, let's do it. All right, perfect. All right, let's get started. So first, I'm gonna do a really quick uh, intro. Some of you may already know me, but I'm gonna do a really uh, quick intro of my background. I think it's really important that when you come to anything like this, or when you watch YouTube tutorials or anything like that, that you know that the person that's talking to you and sharing you know, tips and tricks is sharing things that they've accomplished, right? things that they've done from experience. Because I've gone on YouTube and sometimes there's some crazy people on there giving advice. And when you look them up, they're actually, you know, working at, you know, Starbucks or whatever, which there's nothing wrong with that at all. But if they're not doing music, if music isn't part of their life, they haven't, you know, they're not making a living from music or that sort of thing. And that's one of your goals. Then you need to learn from somebody who's already doing what you want to do, right? And I've had a pretty cool career. So I'm going to share some of those things with you guys today. Uh, to kind of introduce myself and um, hope to share with you guys that everything I'm going to be talking to you guys about, I talk about from experience. Okay, these are not theories. These are not nothing. This is all from experience. So, all right, let's go. Dakota says facts. My goal is to get there to give my family a life I never had. And yes, this is true. That whole starving artist, you know, mentality thing. It doesn't have to be your life. There's a lot of people that say you got to be a starving artist, and all. you don't have to. You really don't have to. There's just some things you got to learn and apply to your life um, and and your life could absolutely change for the better. So let's I'm going to give you guys a real quick background here. So uh, here is me um, on NBC. I've done a lot of major media. Um, I've done all of this without a manager, without a record label, um, without an investor, without um, I, I have. I always joke with everybody. I say, you know, I've had I, I think I have like. 2,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. I'm not big on Spotify at all. Yet the whole world says you have to be big on Spotify to be successful, right? Um, I've traveled every continent of the world performing because of music, um, except for Antarctica. I've never been to Antarctica, but I've been to every other um, uh, continent. I've performed up to 400 paid shows a year, every single one of them. I don't do any like free shows or anything like that. Um, I've done a lot and I have cleared six figures as an independent musician each year for the last few years, which has been really, really incredible. Um, and I've done this without, you know, a huge Spotify. Instagram has been a huge part of my life, uh, and which we're going to be talking about today. But I've done a lot of different things um, that people say you can't do. Right. You can't do it if you have a record label. You can't do it if you get pregnant. I just had a baby boy and I was still traveling the country when I was pregnant. Right. Performing and that sort of thing. So um, there's a lot of things with me. You're going to find that I like to kind of get all of those things that everyone tells you you have to do and say, screw all of them. They don't know what they're talking about because I'm living, breathing proof that you don't got to have any of that. You just have to have a few different. There's like some life hacks. 
that you can like skip all that other stuff that they say you have to have. So I've done a lot of major media. I've been on like Fox, I don't know, like something like 12 times or something a lot. And again, I've never paid for any of that. I've gone on because they've wanted me on. And, um, and today, as we get into this, I'm gonna give one awesome person, if you stay till the end, one person is going to get a free annual membership to work with me for an entire year, which is gonna be awesome. So make sure to stick around because this is really cool. I love working with you guys. I enjoy this. I love your feedback. So there's that chat box. Don't forget to write in there any of your thoughts or questions as we go. All right, here goes. So here's some more of the, the cool uh, television networks and stuff that I've gone on that I've gotten to perform on, perform my own original music. Um, I was in Huffington Post. Um, as I performed for 17,000 people. This is right before um, I performed at a basketball game, very cool basketball game out in um, Wisconsin, Wyoming, Wisconsin. I always, I always get those two states mixed up. Madison, Wisconsin, in Wisconsin. There we go. That's where I was. Um, I've been on Fox like a dozen times. I've gone to do red carpet events. I've been flown all over the world. I've done tours in the French Polynesian Islands. I've been to Tahiti and Bora Bora. Um, I, all over the United States, I've done 25 city tours throughout the US that I've set up myself. Again, I tell you guys, I'm living, breathing proof that you can be an independent. Um, and I, I, uh, I'm very proud of that. And that's why I like to share with other people how I've done it. Um, I've been featured on the front page of Yahoo um, from my videos. I have a little bit more than, I don't know, maybe like 5 million plays on YouTube, which isn't like insane, but it's still like a decent amount, right? And again, um, this is all without uh, spending any money on advertising or anything like that. Um, I've gotten to perform at really cool stuff like the LA Dodger games. I performed the national anthem. I've done, I, I uh, pre-COVID, I performed every year for the NFL at their uh, rookie ceremonies, which is cool because you see Russell Wilson right there. Um, and then uh, we got RG3, of course, which is really cool. So I've gotten to do some cool events for like Porsche and Dancing with the Stars and all kinds of cool things. Um, I've done a lot of radio appearances. Here's me on Power 106 playing my own music. Here's me at Kiss 97.3. And again, these are all things that people say you can't do. You can't get on major radio without a record label. You can't get on major radio unless you have lots of money. You can't get on major radio unless you have a zillion plays on Spotify. Well, I don't have any of those things and I got on just fine. So I like to share those little hacks that get me on those things, okay? So um, this is me on stage. I do a lot of shows. This is with a friend of mine named Frankie Moreno. This was a sold out casino show at the Golden, no, what is it called? I always forget what it's called. Dang it, I can't remember the casino. It's not Golden Nugget, um, but it's one of the casinos here in Las Vegas. Um, I do, again, I do, I, well, I, but pre-COVID, I was doing like 200 to 400 shows a year. I had a baby in the last couple of years, so I haven't gotten back to performing yet. I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to. I actually really love enjoying helping others do it now. I did it for about 10 years. So I traveled about five continents, traveled and saw the whole world, partied, danced, experienced, like lived like a freaking rock star, and I'm a mom now. So I, I'm not sure that I'm gonna go back to it, but um, I, I think I will a little bit here and there, but um, these types of pictures, they make me uh, miss it. Um, I've done some radio, I've done, you know, been on newspapers, I've been on more TV, I've done radio tours, I've done lots of cool stuff. Uh, I've gotten to travel the world um, because of music. So I've, um, this is uh, my birthday out in Rome, which is really cool. And then um, I was on tour in Australia. So there's me with some kangaroos. Um, this is me in Peru with Machu Picchu. Oh my gosh, that was amazingly beautiful. Uh, this was me on tour. I stopped in the Grand Canyon uh, twice actually, because we circled through the United States and came back while we were on tour. It was a really cool 25 city tour, uh, stopped there. Uh, this was me at some waterfalls, that's in Tahiti. That was on tour as well. Me and my whole band went, which was cool. And then uh, this was me in Thailand. I was actually out there teaching uh, little kids in a uh, special education center uh, music, which is cool. It's a big part of my life. I love I love uh, working with children. So I go to a lot of different third world countries and, and volunteer and do that sort of thing. So um, that's probably one of my favorite things that I get to do because of music. So Kenny, you said your tie. Very, very cool. Um, very, very cool. Kevin says, you're literally our confirmation. Yes. I like that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Elvis says he's so excited. I, I like that. And thank you guys so much for giving me your feedback here. Uh, this was a really cool concert. This was in front of 20,000 people. It was a sold out concert in, uh, Brooklyn at Barclays Center. I don't know if you guys have been there, but it's 
pretty freaking amazing. I took a picture before the concert when it was completely empty. Uh, this filled up, I was the only independent artist on the roster. I was the only one that didn't have a hit song. I was the only one that didn't have a record label. I was the only one that didn't have anything like that. Yet I got to go on that stage in front of 20,000 people with some of my favorite artists, Brian McKnight, Faith Evans, Jagged Edge, Lil' Kim. I mean, I love 90s R&B. Brian McKnight's one of my favorite. One, you like a dream come true, two. And Jagged Edge, where the party at? Like 90s R&B, if, if I have 90s R&B fans in this room, we already vibing, all right? We're the cool people right now. Do I got 90s fans in here? Kevin says, that's what I'm on, what? I, I freaking love it. Kevin says, I know we got. Bennett says, yes, I'm a huge, like Aaliyah, Monica, which is kind of getting into what was still probably like 1998, I think, but I love 90s R&B. So it was so cool to be on stage with those people. But again, I was the only one that didn't have a record deal. I had Mario up there. Baby, you should let me love you. Love that song. And, um, I was the only one. And again, I just tell everybody, I'm like, man, there's some like tricks. There's some tricks up here that I figured out in life that has allowed me to do cool stuff like this, right? Without having to do all the extra stuff and still be independent and make my own rules. I don't have a boss. I don't have a record label telling me what I can or can't do, you know? And I, I that's what I value the most. I value freedom. That's my main thing. I don't want people telling me what I can or can't do. I want my I want to decide what I wear, what I who I collaborate with, you know, I want all of that kind of stuff. So, um, and I've been able to do that, which is cool. Um, and then I've just done some other really cool, you know, I've been in like a lot of different cool things, uh, magazines and all kinds of cool stuff because of music, uh, which has been such a blessing, man. It's, it's incredible. And now I work with artists like yourself. Now, a lot of you guys are probably looking at this and going, yeah, that's all great, Christine. Um, but you probably are able to do this because of, and then people always insert some sort of excuse, right? Because maybe you grew up somewhere, or maybe you had money, or maybe you had this. And uh, the truth is, I didn't have anything. I grew up on a little farm in New Mexico. I raised a pig named Cacahuate, which means peanut in Spanish. Um, he was a little pig at first, and then he became like a 200-pound pig. And, it, and I used to feed them tortillas. My family's Mexican. I worked in the tortilla factory and I would bring him flour tortillas and uh, would put milk in it and that's what he would eat. And that's what I started doing, right? So um, I didn't have any money. Um, we didn't have, you know, I always tell these stories and, and how I thought rich people had Lunchables. You guys know Lunchables. It's, you know, and you got the little ham and the cheese and the crackers. And then if you get the really fancy Lunchables, there's like the Capri Sun with like the Oreo or the Reese's, you know, like those things, which I was absolutely obsessed with growing up, but we couldn't afford them. And so my mom used to take ham and she would cut them into squares and cheese slices, you know, the craft singles, and she would cut them into little slices and stuff. And then she'd put Ritz crackers and she'd put them all into little bags and send them with me to school. Um, cause she knew how much I loved Lunchables and I appreciated that my mom was trying to do that, but I wanted the real thing. And so I always told myself one day I'm going to make so much money that I'm going to be able to eat a Lunchable every day. And, um, I remember one time I was performing in Malibu and there were dolphins jumping out of the ocean and I was performing that day. And I remembered, you know, thinking that one day I'm going to have so many Lunchables. I'm going to eat a Lunchable every day. And I thought of how proud I was of myself because I looked inside the venue and I thought, man, I'm doing so well. I could buy every single person here a lunch roll and I would be just fine. And I was like, I've made it, I made it. So uh, those little things really meant a lot to me, but I really started, um, like I said, in the middle of the desert in New Mexico. I didn't know anybody in the music industry. I didn't know anybody that had done music. I thought you had to be famous um, for you to make a living in music. I didn't realize that you could make a living any other way. I grew up around a lot of violence. Uh, I had a lot of friends die from violent crimes. In fact, one of my very first concerts that I ever performed in, there was a drive-by, so bullets were going through, um, you know, and we had to hit the ground, and you know, the whole thing got shut down, of course. But uh, it was a, a life that I decided I wanted to get away from, and I told myself that music was going to be the thing that got me away from that, and it did because I stuck with it. And I know that a lot of you guys that are watching right now, I don't know where 
you guys are in your life. Some of you might be starting out. Some of you guys might already be thriving and kicking butt. But um, I always share these stories because I want you guys to know that if someone like me who, who literally had nothing can, can start from scratch and build an entire music career, I feel like I've built an empire to be able to travel all over the world and do whatever I want. Um, whenever I want, you know, and to make a living doing what I love, um, then you can too. And sometimes you just need some guidance and sometimes you just need to know where to start. And that's why I'm here. So it's a pleasure for me to, to be here with you guys. And um, I'm about to jump into it because I promised today that we're going to cover how I get 3000 Instagram followers. But first, I just want to thank you for being here. It's a pleasure to be here. There's a lot of people that don't take initiative in their music career, right? They sit around and they wait for somebody else to do it for them. They wait to get discovered. They wait for somebody else to find them and do all the work for them. And is that possible? Yes, it is possible, right? But it's also possible that we could win the lottery and we don't sit around just buying lottery tickets, right? So um, today I'm gonna offer something to you guys, uh, you know, this teaching you guys about how to build your Instagram followers. And if you apply it, you're gonna see some results really, really quick. And um, I'm just excited that you're here. And once again, it's just a pleasure because most percentage of people won't take initiative in their life. So applause to you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, let's see here. Danielle says the sound is gone. Uh, can you guys hear me now? I hope, hopefully it's, it's working now. Jason says, thank you. Um, Kevin says, I didn't know you ever came struggles like that. Yeah, you know, I don't share them too much. I just share them on the, the webinars. I should probably share them a little bit more. I, I barely started kind of talking about my upbring, upbringing because it, it was just kind of, there's a lot of stuff that is hard to talk about sometimes. But um, I've got, I've, I've built such a cool relationship, I think, with like you guys being here and it's helped me to share my story. And then when I read your chats, I mean, even right here, Dakota, I'm seeing you, you know, talking about, you know, going through abuse right now like I get just really connected with all of you because I think music is that powerful really um I see that well Dakota I I love the fact that you're here um all right perfect all right so let's get into this so how many of you guys have heard of the follow unfollow method I'm going to try not to spill water all over me all right, we got Kenny, Dan says yes, Jason says sounds familiar, Kevin says yes, Kevin says I just do it, we got no, yes, what else we got? Some people say no, a lot of people are saying no, some people are saying yes, all right, cool. So if you heard of this method, this is um, something, it's basically like the follow and follow method actually done correctly which I've never seen anybody ever teach. People try this unfollow and follow method and they're like, it kind of works, it doesn't work. It's because most people are telling you how to do it wrong. And I've seen so many YouTube videos where everybody's like, this is how you do it. It doesn't work though, It's all, it works. I get 3000 followers a day, but there's two steps that people always miss before they do it and they don't do it correctly. And so they just go randomly follow people and then they unfollow people. And we've talked about the importance of getting targeted followers right? We need people that are there because they want to listen to our music. We don't just need metrics. We don't just need a million followers who are like in their 90s, right? Which, I mean, that's probably not the best example because there's probably not a lot of people that are 90 and on Instagram, but I'm using this as an example, right? We want people who want to listen to our music, people who are going to stream our music, buy our music, come to our shows, support our crowdfunding. That's what we need. So we need to find specific people. So, um, I created something called the DFF method it's called design, find, follow. There's three steps. And if you follow these three steps very closely, it will do wonders for your Instagram and you can start getting followers today. Someone came in just a little earlier and they said, I got 300 followers, you know, since the last webinar. Perfect. And if you do it every single day, I was getting a hundred followers every single day when I did this 3000 a month. I did it for an entire year and I got 36,000 targeted followers, not just random people who don't care about my music. It was all people who were choosing to follow me because they wanted to. And I'm going to cover how to do that. All right, let's see. Here we go. Hey, Charlene. Perfect. Yep. If you've already been here before, we're just, I do this every single week. So if you've been to the ones in the past, you've already been to this one. 
So, but I appreciate you jumping in. So first, here's our first step. You guys ready? We're going to be talking about this very first step, which most people miss. We need to create an Instagram that people want to follow. Imagine if we had like tons of traffic, right? 100,000 people coming to our Instagram, but our Instagram is just like pictures of like concrete floors, right? Maybe that would help if we were like a concrete company or something, but it's not gonna help us as musicians, right? We need to create something that looks really good and we're gonna get into specifics right now. So uh, Kevin says concrete floors. I know, I mean, it's just, I just looked at the ground and I saw concrete. It's, it's just a, a probably really bad example, but you know what I'm getting at. So um, basically I found this, um, this, these guys, Eskimo brothers, which are cool. If you look at their profile, there is no question that they are musicians, right? And we have to create that first bio on the top. We need to create a, a very quick, easy bio that shows exactly who we are, what we do, what style of music that we make, okay? So our bio should say exactly who you are as an artist. For example, are you a songwriter, indie folk band? Are you a rapper? Are you a producer? Are you all of those things? Put those things in here. As you can see, they put Nashville-based hillbilly rock and honky tonk, David Graham and Eskimo brothers, too rock for country, too country for rock, having too much fun to care. Doesn't that just sound like a really fun band? Like, I don't even care if I like rock or country at this point. I just want to go see them because I bet they're really cool. So um, I, uh, you know that they do, you know, kind of rockish country stuff. You know that they're a band. You know that they're kind of hillbilly rock, you know, rock and honky tonk. It's awesome. You need to have something that really describes you very quickly right? And, and it needs to say exactly what type of artist you are, exactly what you do, exactly what your, you know, skill set is. You know, if you're a guitarist, if you're a pianist, if you're a songwriter, if you're a producer, what it is that you do, that needs to be very, very clear, okay? Next, we, you can also name notable accomplishments if you have any, right? You can put like singing guitarist from Nashville, or if you have like, if you've gotten like an award, right? Like a rising star award or a million streams on um, YouTube or something like that. You wanna put that on there because it gives you credibility and people are gonna go like, oh, okay, cool. Like if they're that good, I, maybe I wanna follow them. And don't worry, if you don't have anything like that, it's not a huge deal. But if you do put something like that, right? On there. So. Next, we want to talk about, once you get that done, okay, we want to make sure, and, you, and, and the next thing that we want is we want when someone comes to our page to know exactly what we do. They have seconds, guys, seconds before they go to someone else's profile and decide that we're not interesting enough or just, you know, they're just scrolling. We need them to go, I have to follow them. So this is what you need to keep in mind, okay? Your first 12 posts those first 12 posts that you have that people see when they come to your page. So not the 12 on the bottom, the first 12 that they see when they come to your page should reflect who you are as an artist. So if you're a singer, post videos of you singing. If you're a rapper, post videos of you rapping. If you play an instrument, post videos of you playing an instrument. Whatever it is that you do, it needs to be very, very clear, okay? Some of those things that it can, can include are acapella performances, which they love. They love to see you performing like, and acapella means no music, right? You have a song and you're just singing with your selfie phone. Guys, this doesn't have to be professional stuff. And in fact, most of the stuff that I've posted, if I post, like I posted um, a video, my most recent music video, and it did, it got like 5,000 views in like 24 hours on my Instagram, right? Cool, or 3,000 views. But then I posted one where I have a cell phone video and I'm just like, look guys, I made some bloopers and here I am at my music video shoot and you know, here I am. And it was totally not professional at all. And that got 5,000 in 24 hours, almost double. People were more interested in the behind the scenes than the actual music video, right? So people love that stuff. They love live streams. They love live stage performances. They love music videos. They love lyric videos. And of course, behind the scenes. Just like I said, these are all examples of content that you can put up there. Not only that, you can put photos in action. Let's say you're sitting on the couch writing a song. You can talk about that, photos in action. Shots from inside the studio, album artwork, interviews, right? Maybe you have some, some videos of interviews. Picks of articles that you're published in if you've ever been in any. Picks of any accomplishments, right? I, I remember when at the end of the year, Spotify sends you like that, thing that shows you like how many plays that you've had for the year. 
post that up there, right? Like just do anything that you have that can show that you're an artist, that can reflect what you do, that's gonna get people interested in you and your music, okay? Because that's what we want. We don't want people that are following us because we have tons of photos of our breakfast. Because maybe you're gonna have a lot of people that love to look at breakfast food, right? But those aren't the people that are gonna be interested in your music. I have a lot of dogs. I don't post photos of my dogs everywhere because I don't just want people following me because I have cute dogs. I want people mainly following me because of my music and how I help other artists. So I focus on that. I focus on music and I focus on posting things to help other artists because that is the crowd that I'm trying to attract. For you as a musician, you are trying to attract very specific followers. I'm gonna say this again over and over again. We don't just want followers just to say we have followers. If you are a folk band and you only have people following you, you know, that, that don't even listen to folk music, it doesn't help you. We really, really need to get you some really focused followers, which we'll get on, get in, but this is the first step. Okay. And Kevin says, lyric video. Awesome. I have a lyric movie for my album dropping. Okay. I, I want to know what a lyric movie is. I'm sure that's different than a lyric video. Um, and so uh, let's see here. This is what mine looks like, right? Um, mine has a lot of different things. You can see that I have at least, what, one, two, three videos of me playing piano. I have a music video clip right here. And then I have just some, you know, nice looking photos. And guys, once again, you don't have to have professional photos. I've taken almost all of these with my cell phone. Cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone. Cell phone. Like a lot of these are all cell phone, right? People love, love, love those. So I always hear people go, do I need to get a professional photographer? I can't afford one. Don't worry about it. They really actually perform better. If you notice, I have my main profile pic as, um, as actually a cell phone pic. People like to feel like they're talking to a real person and not somebody that's not going to respond to them, right? They don't want to just feel like they're um, a number, like just one of your fans, right? So example number one, here's just a few artists that I randomly found on Instagram that I like. I need to reach out to them and let them know I'm using them as an example, right? Um, this girl is really cool. She's a singing pianist. Um, as you can see, her bio says singer, songwriter, member of the recording you know, academy. She has a link right there. So you can put one link to like a video right there. And as you can tell right away, you know that she's a singer. She's sitting at her piano. She's sitting at her piano. She's singing at her microphone, right? It's everywhere. It's totally obvious. Um, people always ask, can I put personal photos too? Yes, you can. Definitely. You can still post what you ate for breakfast. You can still post you at the gym, but you don't want there to be any question in anybody's mind as to what you do, right? Like you want it to be very apparent that you're a musician. So you just want the majority of those 12 photos to really reflect who you are as an artist. So next I found another one. Um, this guy actually reached out to me. He's like, hey, I saw that you were using me on a, on your webinar. I'm like, yeah, you're awesome. Um, so this guy's really cool. Look, he's an Emmy-nominated recording artist. He's also like a direct musical director. As you can see here, there's, there's videos of him with recording software. There's photos of him. There's him playing piano. There's him coaching other artists. It is obvious that he's in the music industry. It's obvious what he does. He's a rapper, singer, and producer. You can tell. You can tell by what he does. And if someone is a fan of rappers, if someone is a fan of music, you know, they're going to, or urban type music, they're going to absolutely want to follow him. This is exactly what they're looking for, okay? I found this cute little girl group, um, Indie Folk, they're an Indie Folk group. Um, Al, Al, I don't, Alan, I don't even know how to pronounce it, and Anna Katerina, Katerina Music. Um, they're really cool um, because you can tell here, look, and none of the photos or videos look professional. They all look just like it was shot on a cell phone, right? So they're playing with guitar, they're sitting on stage, everything is them performing, singing. It's very, very obvious, as you can see right there, BC Indie Folk Band. One of us always wins at crib, like it's fun. It, it's very obvious who they are, what you would expect, what type of music you expect, and they just seem really fun. And if someone likes folk music, they're gonna wanna follow them. Or if someone just likes live music, I'm not even a huge fan of like, of, of some of the indie folk music, but some of it I really, really love. Like I, I was watching, um, I, I saw a cover of Britney Spears' Toxic the other day with uh, of indie folk. It was just so cool. Like they were playing it with like banjos and stuff like that. 
and I love stuff like that. So, um, but I would want to follow this group, right? So let's go back to if you don't have professional videos, once again, because I keep, I always get this question and that's why I want to cover it a couple times. Selfies and selfie videos work out amazing. I'm going to tell you a lot of times they outperform any professional videos that you get. So if you have someone professionally shooting you versus a selfie, selfies can get a lot more, I'm telling you, okay? You can shoot live performances at home. Experiment with filters and angles, right? Instagram has many different filters you can use. Um, there's a bunch of different apps that you can download that have like tons of more filters, you know, that make it look artistic and that sort of thing. You do so much with a smartphone, right? Smartphones have good quality. Or ask a friend to take your photos. Justin says, is it better to create a music Instagram page separate from your personal page? or leverage your personal page for your music? It's a great question. So if you want to have a personal page where you post all your personal things, right? And you don't want to focus on, you know, promoting music, I would suggest that. Like if you want to just be able to talk to friends, um, that sort of thing. Because like for me, I have so many like fans and followers on my Instagram. Um, my feed is just filled with all of their types of things, right? So I just use it solely for promotion um, and to connect with people, make new friends. but it's not personal. So if you want a personal one, I would suggest keeping that separate and having a music one where you focus on your music stuff, right? And if you want to stay in touch with family, sometimes it's good to keep it on the personal one. It just makes it easier. Um, as Jason says, I shoot videos on my iPhone 12 Pro and it works out very well. You do not really need really expensive equipment to use to be successful. You know, it's crazy the other day. So I, uh, I shot a music video. We're about to uh, release it later this month, I think in like two weeks. And uh, we shot two different things. We shot one with the cell phone and we shot one with the camera, right? And we shot both like real smooth, beautiful, and we showed it to people and we said, hey, do you see any difference in this quality? Now, a professional will, because they can tell, but most people cannot. And um, it was, the quality was so amazing on the cell phone that I decided for my next music video, I want to shoot the entire thing on iPhone. And I was like, I bet nobody will even know. I mean, what you can do with an iPhone is spectacular. Okay, so does everybody get step one and does everyone understand why it's important for us to design, right? We want people to land on that page. We want people to follow us right away. We want people to follow us that want our music, right? We want, we want people that look at us and go, wow, they're a singer, they're a songwriter. That's why I'm following them because I want to hear what they're, you know, going to offer. I want to hear what they're posting. Does that make sense? Bennett says most definitely put yes if you understand Put, if you don't understand, put any question um, that you have. Jason says, do you think Facebook is just as important as Instagram or should I just focus on Instagram? I've noticed I get way more viewers on Facebook if I go and perform live. However, we love Instagram way more. So you can do both. I mean, obviously you can live stream on both if that's what you're talking about. Uh, Facebook is a little bit harder. The algorithm does not work well for you. Our fan pages get lost. They do not care about our fan pages. Facebook has become a platform that will only show your material from your fan page, usually if you're spending money. It's not like Instagram where it'll just show up in the algorithm, right, if it's popular. Facebook is very hard, right? I use Facebook for a lot of things. I spend a lot of money on Facebook running ads, but that's because I'm spending money. If we're going to talk about organic traffic, it's very hard for the Facebook fan page to show up on things. We don't show up in people's feeds very often, even if people are following us, right? I think I have 30,000 followers on my fan page, and yet on my personal Facebook, where I have 5,000, I get way more responses because a personal Facebook shows up more often. Whereas Instagram, people use Instagram almost like texting, right? On Facebook, you don't usually go on there and start texting random people on Facebook to meet them. Whereas on Instagram, you do. It's become like a means. People go, like, you know, get dates from Instagram. It's very, very popular. Whereas Facebook, you kind of have to know somebody that introduces you or you have to show up on a page. I mean, it, it's the algorithm doesn't work the same way that it works on Instagram, making it easier to reach people on Instagram. I still use Facebook a lot. I use Facebook for a lot of things. But once I started focusing on Instagram, my uh, reach doubled, tripled, quadrupled way faster than anything I've ever seen on Facebook. So I do recommend um, Instagram. Sean says, me entiendes? All right, you're speaking my language. Uh, Josh says, yes. Kevin says, yes. This is everybody saying that they understand. Definitely, yes, 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 I understand. Um, Billy says, 
all of it makes sense, but I don't know how to do any of it. That's my problem. I wish I did. Well, that's why you're here, Billy. I'm showing you how to do it. And we started with step one. You design your Instagram. We got two more steps. Um, let's see. Jason says, thanks for answering my question. Dakota says, Instagram is very good for connecting with other artists. Okay, perfect. Everybody gets it. All right. And Kevin says, let's go, Billy. Hey, Sachi. Nice to see you in here. All right. So step two, we got to find. Okay. The problem with most people telling you how to do Instagram is they're telling you how to be findable, right? They're telling you how to use hashtags and that sort of thing. So you just kind of post, 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 and you sit around hoping that people find you. I have never, ever employed that type of attitude in my life because if we sat around and waited for people to come and create our career for us, build our Instagram for us, make our music for us, for example, we would be waiting our entire lives. I decided I was going to go out and find people, right? And that's what we need to do. We need to find fans that like your style of music and the type of artist that you are. We don't just want random followers. We want fans and followers who will support our music endeavors. We've talked about this a little earlier. These are called targeted fans. Again, we don't want people who don't like our music following us. I mean, it doesn't hurt if they're following us, but why are we going to spend time trying to get those people right? We only have so much time in the day. Some of us have other jobs. If you only have a little bit of time to focus on building your following, you want to focus on finding the people that are going to want your music. Okay. So this is how we do that. You need to make a list of those artists like you. I want you guys to do that right now because here in just a little while, we're going to do something kind of fun. Okay. The concept is that if we can get your music in front of those fans of those artists that are like you, and since they already like other similar music from similar artists, they are more likely to also like your music than if you were just in front of random people who aren't targeted fans. I'll give you guys an example. I'm a singer and I play the piano and I'm a female. If I were to perform in front of Drake's performance, let's say I got on a show, right? Where I'm singing in front of Drake's audience. He's a male rapper, right? He does more urban music. Will I be able to get some fans? Sure. But they like urban music made from a male that's not live musicianship. So it's not that targeted. Now imagine if I opened up for someone like John Legend or Alicia Keys. Those people already like people who play the piano and sing. Someone like Alicia Keys would be perfect because she's a female right? Just like me, we're both ethnic and she sings and plays piano. It is very likely that almost everybody in that arena is going to be interested in who I am. That's what we want. We don't just want to get in front of anybody. We want to get in front of the right people right now as we're going through these steps. Think of two artists that are like you right now and preferably the same gender, preferably the same style of music, right? If you're a producer, it would be a producer. If you're a songwriter slash singer, find a singer slash songwriter that makes your style of music. If you're a folk artist, if you're a rapper, if you're a band, if you make rock music, if you're a classical pianist, think of two artists. Write it down in the chat box. Write down who's just named two artists that you would say is the most like you. Like if you could get in front of their fans, you know that their fans like their music so much, it's probably they're probably gonna like your music. Let's think about those. Uh, Sean says Aerosmith and the Black Crows. Kevin says Kendrick Lamar and Schoolboy. Ginny says Dorothy and Lindsey Sterling. Awesome. Jason says Radiohead and Fleetwood and Mac. Sechi says Mickey Guyton and Rissy Palmer and Yemi Alaid. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Uh, we've got Bennett says Justin Bieber and Chris Brown. Awesome. Dan says Sam Smith and Scott Hoying. Kenny says Tiesto and Steve Aoki. Esteban says Raul de Blasio, I think. And then we got J. Cole and Jada Kiss for Kevin. Dan says the baby and Migos. And then we got Margie says Sarah Bareilles, Elahe and Six Lax says Tawanda. All right, we got a lot. Tupac, we got Sean Mendes for Elvis Sanchez, Richard Claterman, Amanda Palmer, and Tori Amos for Carol Hodge. I am a huge fan of Amanda Palmer. Huge fan of just who she is. Incredible person. I use her as an example of an independent musician. She is just a hustler. Incredible woman uh, dakota mac miller and jack harlow jeffrey says ben folds and bare naked ladies jessica says adele and adina menzel awesome and we got billy lonis says hank williams sooner 
a senior and Johnny Cash. All right, see, so you guys know, right? You know who, who sounds like you. So it's very, very important that you do that. So I'm glad that you guys got that part down because this is what's going to be amazing. We're going to be able to go and I call this like a fan hacking method. We're just going to go hack their fans because they've already done all the work for you. They've already attracted all the fans. So, and I'll give you an example. So when I first started doing music, I used to sell my music on the streets. I would go door to door, like literally door to door. I had a little bag and I had all my CDs in the bag and I had like a water. It'd be like 120 degrees. So my water would be like super hot and I'd be like, freaking out because it was just like 150 degrees pouring sweat. And um, I uh, would knock on people's doors. I would sing on people's doorsteps. If they had a piano, I would walk in and I would play that piano. I mean, there'd be like little old ladies, there'd be families, they would invite me to dinner. I mean, it was pretty amazing. But I had, I knocked on so many doors. I had to knock on so many doors because I didn't know if they were gonna like my music. I didn't even know if they were music fans at all. Right. I didn't know if they were friendly. I didn't know anything. So I had to, I mean, it would be blistering heat all day. I had a little electric scooter. I used to like drive around with a little, little electric scooter down the street. Um, I'd always have like little kids following me around that had bikes and stuff. Like we had like a little, almost like a little biker gang, but all my fans were like seven, but I didn't care. I felt cool because they all thought I was cool. So I would just kind of go door to door. That was a lot of work. Not only that, I would work inside of, um, you know, the commercial buildings at the state fair. I would rent those. You know, they're like usually selling like massages or like cool, like as seen on TV stuff. I would I would have like a, a big CD player and I'd have my CDs all out there and I would stop every single person that I could that walked by and I would tell them about my music. I'd pull them over to the table. And I'd be like, listen to my music, listen to my music. And some of them would buy, most of them would not. Okay, most of them would not, most of them, you know, I couldn't expect that they would like my songs, but I had to go through so many people over and over again. And some of them just felt like they didn't want to be rude, right? They would just come over and listen and then come up with some weird, awkward excuse, you know, sorry, I got to go bathe my frog or whatever excuse that they came up with, you know, to get out of there. Because I was sitting there like I was in for the sale, like I needed to, you know, eat and all I had was my music. I didn't have another job. So... Um, I had to work very hard to find those people. But what I'm about to show you guys right now is you're not going to have to freaking do that. You're not going to have to do that because we've already figured out who our two artists that are like us are. And we're going to go hack their fans, right? That's what that's what we're going to do right now. So Chance says that is interesting. Kevin says bathe my frog. Yeah, I, these things just come to my head. I'm just trying to come up with excuses um, that people could have made, right? So this is the cool thing. I came up with two artists. For me, it was Alicia Keys and John Legend, okay? When I would do this every single day, it was Alicia Keys and John Legend. And what I did was, right away, you can see, right, if you're familiar with Instagram, on the top of Alicia Keys and John Legend and anybody's Instagram, there is a place that says followers, as you guys can see here, right? So uh, is everyone able to see this slide okay? Let me make sure everyone can see it all right. Everyone says yes. Kevin says yes, Ben says yes, okay, perfect. You can see that there is 20.9 million followers that follow Alicia Keys and 13.6 that follow John Legend. Can you imagine if all of their fans, 13.6 followers, 20.9, that's what, 34.5 follow, million followers together that all like singing pianists, right? That's myself, I'm a singing pianist. If I could get my music in front of them, They've already done all the work for me. They've gathered them into one place, right? We can now find them. Is that making sense? This is step two. Design was step one. We made a, a, a Instagram that people want to follow. Step two is we've now identified who our fans are, our potential fans, our most probable fans, right? Is that making sense? Everyone says yes, yes, very Esteban says, John Legend, he's a wonderful person. Bennett says, yes. Kevin says, this is Indie Hacks right now. Billy says, yes. Dakota says, yes. Kevin says, absolutely. Oh, I got smiley faces and emojis and all kinds of cool stuff. I didn't even know you could do emojis in here. Jason says, yes. Kenny says, yes. Denny says, yes. Dan says, yes. Sechi says, yes. Jad says, yes. Okay, perfect. Margie says, yes, but how do I get their followers to follow me? We're about to get there right now. 
Katara says, yes, awesome. All right, so now that we've identified who our followers are, and now that we've created a web page, can you imagine? So this is this is what I did. I created a, an Instagram where I had at least three videos, right? We have those 12 photos and videos of us that we want at our top, right? John Legend, here's nine of them, but we want 12, right? To really represent who we are. So imagine if one of Alicia Keys' fans came to my Instagram and saw that I played the piano and sang, and it was all over the place. They're likely going to follow me because they already like Alicia Keys. How do we get them to our page? This is where we get to the follow and follow method. Okay, and this is why most people it's not successful because they skipped these first two steps. Now we're at step three, follow. And I'm gonna get into something else that I have never ever heard anybody even talk about that I figured out through this process after we get through this step three. Okay, step three. Alex says you have 1,323 followers right now. Thank you for everything, Christine. Thanks for joining again, Alex. Appreciate that. I think you, when you started out, you had 30 followers, right? Isn't that right? You had like 30 and now you have 1300. That is pretty incredible. Alex is a hard worker. I love having you here, Alex. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to follow their fans. All you do is click on that. Remember where I showed you guys where it says, um, let me show you guys really quick. Where did it go? Right there followers up there you click on that and when you go there it opens up right here you're able to just click on those follow 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 don't do that yet okay if you're watching this right now don't do it yet because you could get blocked i'm about to tell you how to not get blocked okay when you follow other people they immediately become interested in you and many will check out your page some will follow you if they take interest in your content this is why those first 12 photos are so important. Their first impression of you is very important. They have seconds for them to decide if they find your Instagram boring, literally like two seconds, they're going to go somewhere else. So we want, that's why we need to make sure that those first 12 photos are important. This is going to determine whether they follow you or not, right? That's why this is so important. So Instagram is not clear on their limits of how many actions you can take in an hour or in a day, but I would keep it relatively close to this. This has worked for me. Follow a maximum of people, 50 people an hour. If you just set up an Instagram, don't follow more than like 200 people a day. I have followed up to a thousand people a day and been just fine, but I'm very active on social media. The reason why you will get blocked if all of a sudden you have all this you know, engagement and all of a sudden you're liking, Instagram's going to think you got hacked, right? Let's say you never had, were on Instagram doing anything and all of a sudden you have all this stuff going on. They're going to think someone hacked your account, so they're going to block you. It's only temporary. If this happens to you, it's usually only temporary. You get it back within a day. But that's when you know you're doing too many. So you usually keep it down to a maximum of 50 people an hour. This includes all actions, likes, comments, following. So if you're doing all kinds of liking and commenting, you might want to slow this down while you're doing this process okay so don't exceed 50 actions instagram will block your account if you take too many unnatural spammy type actions now different sources say anywhere from 200 to 600 daily limit of actions will keep you safe and you shouldn't have any issues but you need to spread it out you can't do it all at once so right now i hope none of you are doing this okay don't go follow 600 people right now what I would do is I would set an alarm. This is how I did it. I set an alarm every hour and a half typically to make sure that I don't exceed the hourly limit. I got up to being able to follow about 100 people every hour and a half, and I would do that about nine or 10 times a day. Try slowly, start slowly with you. Do, do only 200 people a day and maybe only do like 50 people. Set your alarm every couple hours, okay? And this is going to keep you from getting blocked. This is how you follow them. And let me see if you guys have questions here. Um, Josephine says, what if you don't know who you are like in the industry? Then ask your friends, ask your friends, ask your family, right? What style of music do you make? Google that, Google other artists like you. If you make indie folk music, Google that, put indie folk artists, indie folk bands, check out their music. And when you listen to it, you can go, Hey, my music sounds like them then you can go and target their fans, right? Do a little research on that one. Kevin says, this is amazing. Jason says, how long have you been using this method? I did it for an entire year and I got about 36,000 friends during that process. 
I now focus on helping other artists. So I do a lot of coaching and that sort of thing. So I don't do it as often anymore, but I did it for a year and got a hundred people a day on average. So I got 36,000 when I did it in a year. And those were all organic. Those are all real people. Those aren't bots. And that those didn't come from posting or hashtags or anything like that. That came from just doing this method. Jason says, that's amazing. I think this is a great idea. And he says, well, awesome. Now, there is a limit to how many people you can follow. You can only follow 7,500 people. So at some point, you have to start unfollowing. Those are also considered actions. So you only want to have what? Up from 200 to 600 actions a day, depending on how active you typically are on Instagram. If you're not very active, stick to 200 to start, okay? So what would happen is once you get to the limit of 7,500, you're going to need to start unfollowing, right? So you might want to unfollow 200 people a day so you make space for it. So that's what they consider follow, unfollow. What people usually say though, is they just say, go follow anybody. And then maybe they'll follow you back. But again, we don't want random people following us. We want people that represent who we are, our music videos, our lyric videos, videos of us performing live, those types of things. And then step two was finding the artists that we sound like most. Right. That's why this is so important, because we're going to target their fans because their fans are probably going to like us and become our fans. And we fan hacked. Right. It's like, again, it's like you're getting to perform in front of a ton of people that already like your style of music. That's way better than what I was doing when I was going door to door, knocking on tons of houses and not knowing what type of music they listen to. Right. That took a lot more work back then. We didn't have Instagram back then. I didn't have apps didn't even exist iphone didn't even exist i don't think maybe it did i'm like dating myself right now but um it wasn't like what it is today um dakota says i just followed 30 from each of the artists i chose very very cool um tawanda says i did this technique on twitter and within two weeks i had thousands of followers but there were just random people rather than fans so what you are saying is true Yes. And that's, and that's what I was saying is so many people go straight to the follow and follow method, which that's not going to help you. And it's going to take a lot of time, right? We only have time, time we can't get back, right? Imagine if we had all the time in the world. Okay, great. Do whatever you want, but we don't. So we want to maximize our time, which is why it's so important to do first step and first, uh, second step. Now, here is a bonus tip. This is what I've never heard anybody say. And when I figured it out, I was so excited because I was like, wow this is game changing okay it was already cool to follow their fans but you risk sometimes there's bots that are following them or people that are inactive or maybe someone that only gets on every two weeks right we don't want that we want fans that not only are targeted but fans that are active on instagram because we want them to be liking our stuff and following our stuff and commenting on our stuff and listening to our music does anybody have any idea how we find active targeted fans any any clue can anybody take a guess here because this is this is the gold mine right here finding active targeted fans people that are going to be there because the more comments that we have the more views we have the more the algorithm is going to favor us and it's going to show our videos and show our content to lots of other people as well Alex says, I get a lot of Bitcoin miners. Don't add them. They are just scams. Yeah. Kenny says, the feed on IG. Kevin says, you don't have a clue. Kevin says, check who likes and comments on their videos. Sean says, story tabs. Josephine says, the ones that commented in less than 24 hours. Dan says, I don't know. Tawanda says, I usually go to the comment section. Some of you guys got it spot on. We're going to follow the fans who comment and interact with their posts those specific artists. These are super highly mega targeted fans since they're interacting with their content. It takes a little bit more time since you have to click on each profile, but it's amazing. I'm gonna show you how that works. Here's John Legend right here. He just posted a video of him playing the piano. Look right there, look at all those comments. Love your music. John, you're amazing. Heart face, loved it. Fire, all that cool stuff. Follow those people. 
those people are going to be commenting and liking and listening to your music. They're going to come fans. They're going to message you and be like, how can I buy your music? There was a guy that was on my webinar last week. He said, I got 10 new followers and someone bought my album while I was on this webinar. He hadn't even left the webinar yet, guys. This is so highly friggin' targeted. Like it's bananas. These are the exact people that you want. If you have done your targeting correctly, and if you have found artists that are like you and you've designed your page and you're making great music, this will work phenomenally in your career. You said, can you show the bonus tip? Yes, follow the fans who comment and interact with the artists that you chose that sound like you with their posts. You know, I use John Legend and Alicia Keys as an example, because I'm a singing pianist. If you're a rapper, maybe you sound like Wiz Khalifa. If you're a rock band, maybe you sound like the Black Keys. I don't know. I don't know. You have to figure that out for yourself. Find those two artists or those two bands or those two producers or whatever it is that you sound like. Go to their page. Follow their followers. Follow the people. You know, the thing is you have to click on their profile. But that little extra two seconds that it takes is going to get you high quality followers. And that's what we want. So let me, um, Billy says, thank you. Alex says, one thing that I do is tell whoever likes your comments on my G, I tell them to DM me their emails and I send them my singles before it drops. I learned that from you, Christine. Thank you. Yes. So I'm going to tell you guys even further, if you guys want to get all crazy with it, you tell them, Hey, I saw that you posted on my page, you know, let's after they're already following you. Okay. You got their follower. And we're talking about processes because all life is about processes, right? We created a design. We found our artists that are like us. Now we're following their followers. Now, once they follow you, and this is just extra, I, I, I usually don't even talk about this on the webinar. Now you reach out to them and you say, Hey, do you want one of my songs for free? Cause I'll give you my, if you give me your email address, I'll add you to my email list and I'll send you a free song. Once you have their email address, you can now connect with them for the rest of their life. Oh, as long as they're connected on your email list, right? You can send them all your new albums. You can send them your crowdfunding and let them know when you're performing. It's absolutely incredible because you can reach out to them forever. That is the most valuable thing that you could possibly do. That's why getting traffic is really good and then feeding it into your email list because sometimes Instagram may disappear, right? I got someone told me about a new platform today called Hi Ho. I had never heard of it. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. Hi Ho. Um, and I was like, man, not another social media app that I have to learn, right? I hate having to learn new social media apps. But people are all excited about this new one, right? Imagine having to rebuild this, right? That's going to be a pain in the ass. But if you have an email list, just email them. Hey guys, come find me on Hi Ho. Done. In seconds, instead of having to spend years again, I remember when I built up my MySpace, I built up my MySpace so insane. Like I made it a thing. Like that was when I was just doing music. That was all that I was doing. And I built up my Instagram, I mean, my uh, MySpace, where I was the top 10 most visited artists in the world, independent artists. They had a special chart for the top 10 independent. And I was always like number seven or something. In the whole freaking world of MySpace, like it was insane. Like that was a big achievement, right? And then Facebook took over. I didn't have an email list. Rebuilding that was in freaking insane. That's why that email list is so, so important. Uh, let's see. Dan says that is dope. Uh, perfect. 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 All right. Awesome. So people always ask how to unfollow. There's an app called Reports Pro app. It'll show you what's going on in your Instagram. It'll show you how many followers gained, followers lost. It'll show you how many followers are not following you back. So you could unfollow them pretty quickly, which is awesome. Saxophone Del Moan says, yep, that's how I found you, MySpace. We were number one and number two. Hey, Del Moan, thanks for coming in. I think you came through the last one too, that's awesome. Hey, we've played shows together now, which is awesome, right? Like, cause a good old MySpace. Jessica Watts says, oh, hey, Delmon, love that guy. Hey, we got, we got a few people. Right, is everyone, like, do I got people here from New Mexico? That's where I'm from. I live in Vegas now, but hey, if we got lots of people in here from New Mexico. Delmon says, love your channel. Thanks for the love. Jessica says, see, awesome, New Mexico in the house. What, what? 
guitarist is casually listening to this like a podcast at work. Yep. Awesome. Chance says, I beat out Panic at the Disco and the Killers when I was number one on the Vegas MySpace music chart. See, that's really cool. It's very cool. Um, so right now what I want to do, this is kind of just a fun thing that we're going to do here too, okay? So even if you haven't designed your MySpace, right? It's, I mean, your MySpace. Now we're talking about MySpace like, <laughs> like 15 years ago. Okay, even if you haven't designed your Instagram perfectly like we talked about in the first step, what I want you to do right now is think about two artists. Even if you haven't really dialed it in entirely, think about two artists you could think of, hey, I bet their fans would be interested. And what I want you guys to do is I want you, I'm going to put three minutes on the clock here, okay? And let me start the, uh, how do I start this? There has to be a play. Okay, there we go. Play. We got three minutes on the clock. See, this is cool. It's like a little game show. And um, I want you guys to go follow their followers. Follow the people, not just followers. Let's get into the um, specific ones. Let's follow people that have interacted with their posts. Click on their page follow them. Now, if they don't have any followers or anything like that, or they don't have any posts, it's likely that they're bots. So don't follow them, right? When you click on them, make sure they look like a real human being because we want targeted followers. Follow like, you know, if you're really active on, on Instagram, you can follow like 40 or 50 people. If you're not that active, I'd say not to follow more than 30 people right now, but go and do that right now. Josephine says, what could be wrong if you are losing followers? There's a few things, Josephine. So um, one, what are you posting? I've seen a lot of people that post the same stuff over and over again, right? They're posting, listen to my album. My single just dropped. Listen to my album. They're reposting the same thing over and over and over again. So people are going, I don't want to follow them because they just like spam my Instagram, right? That's one thing that could be happening. Um, and we don't want that, right? Um, we want to um, make sure that we have really inviting content different things. And it's okay for you to repost things, but we don't want to be like in their face, like my album, my album, my album. Now, can you promote your album over and over again without sounding spammy? Yes. And a few of the ways that you can do that. And if you guys notice, follow my Instagram, you'll see me employ all of these techniques, right? Post a behind the scenes thing, right? Post that, that uh, you know, you with your camera person or something and say, hey, here, here I was on set for my new music video or on, or here I was behind the scenes of my new song, right? Man, it was so crazy that day. It was raining outside and I, you know, my microphone got messed up, but luckily my other friend had a microphone and it came to the day, you know, save the day and we got it filmed, recorded. And I hope you guys are following all your people right now as I'm telling you this story. And you can put that, and then on your PS, you can put, and PS. The song just came out last week. Make sure to go pick it up, right? Or better, don't buy my music. Send me your email and I'll send it to you for free because we want to add them to that email list. If you notice, I never send anybody anywhere other than my DM. DM me your email so I can add you to my email list. I never send anyone to Spotify. I never send anyone to iTunes. I never send anyone to YouTube ever. I am always saying DM me your email and I'll give you something for free. I'll give you this song for free. I'll give you this tutorial for free. I'm doing a free, I just gave away a, a recording studio yesterday to somebody that's on my list, right? It was a contest that we did. I do PR, so I get artists published on like magazines and websites and, and those types of things. So we got five seconds left. I'll finish telling you guys this, but I need like music, like burr, 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 burr. oh yeah, I have it. Look. <laughs> All right, so what I want you guys to do here now, as we're going on here, oops, I started it again. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, there we go. I want you guys to let me know if you get any followers because the awesome thing about this is you're gonna start getting followers. Now, don't feel discouraged if you don't get any right away. Sometimes you may have followed people that maybe only get on every three days. Maybe they're only gonna get on a week. Maybe they're at work right now, okay? But the great thing that we did today was you follow people that were already active on other people's social media. So it's very likely that they're going to follow you as long as you have a good Instagram because they're going to want to check you out. They're going to go, who's this person, you know, that followed me. So um, Kevin says, I followed them. Sean says, you're awesome. What a tremendous help. Billy says he's going to do this later. Um, let's see. Alex says, thanks for this lady and team. 
Alex says you definitely got me published too on six websites and blogs. Yes, we did. We did. Um, what was I telling that story about? I, I don't know if I ever finished the story. Um, why I was bringing up that we were getting her published, I can't remember now. Um, Dan says, when do you unfollow? Um, you can unfollow. I usually will follow for like two or three days and then I'll unfollow for like a day. So that usually kind of gets rid of all the people that I followed. Um, and you will lose followers. Like there's some people that are gonna go, you unfollowed me, I'm following you too, right? But as long as you keep following, you get more followers faster than you lose followers, okay? So that's how it ends up. And it ends up compounding if you do it every single day. That's the thing, guys. It's doing it every single day. I mean, think of like, if I have musicians in this room, when I learned play, how to play the piano, it was the same scales every day, the same thing every day. And then one day I was just a badass at it. And now I get to like play and, and you know, enjoy the, the fruits of that labor. It's the same thing with anything that you do for your promotion. Do the same thing over and over again, or you can't expect results. So it needs to be a commitment that you do, okay? So Dan says, thank you, Queen, you're welcome. Uh, let me see, Kenny says, does it help if you have a private IG since it will make them more curious? No, I would not suggest that in any way. I would never, never suggest that because they're gonna assume that you don't wanna be followed, right? Um, but this is the thing, it, if you're just following them and you have a private, thing it, they don't even know if they want to follow you because they're not seeing your music so I, I really wouldn't I wouldn't suggest it I think that that tactic works on a lot of things it works on like headlines like this person just made a million dollars using this one thing right that makes someone interested but there's nothing you don't have that you're just a picture right that's not some like wow I could learn how to make a million dollars no they just see a photo so we're trying to attract them in and so I would not suggest having a private campaign Jad says, what about those that just leave emojis? Is it worth following them? Yeah, it's still worth it. They're still being um, uh, interacting, you know? Uh, if, you want, if you want followers that are going to, you know, write out messages and that sort of thing, then you can just choose to follow the ones that just write out messages. You know, a, a big artist, you know, someone put that they sounded like Justin Bieber. There's gonna be plenty of people to choose from in his comments. So if you specifically want people who are very active in writing out stuff, then yeah, target those ones. Um, what kind of stuff should I post often? Um, I'm not sure if you saw the slide earlier, Josephine, but there was a lot of things on there. Uh, music videos, lyric videos, selfies are great. Selfie videos of you singing are awesome. You doing any live performances acoustically, you know, if you were, and this is what I was talking to you about content. You can, you can go and you can, um, frequently post the same song in different ways, right? Maybe you post your album. Maybe it's like a Spotify clip. And then maybe you post you singing it a cappella. That's a different one. Maybe then you have you and your guitarist, you know, later performing it, you know. And then maybe you have a lyric video. Like there's different ways rather than just taking the same, you know, music video and reposting over and over again. We don't want to do that. We don't want to annoy people because we don't want to lose our followers simply because they think we're spamming them, right? We want to stay um entertaining we want people to find us entertaining so um louise says hi i'm in a follow for follow group does that work you're just going to get random followers it's not worth it it's not worth it so so again we talk about getting targeted followers right and this is a good question so louise asked there's these special groups called follow for follow groups so that means when you follow someone they'll follow you back right to show the love but does that mean they're interested in your music no. Does it mean they like your music? No. Does it mean they like your style of music? No. Does it mean they're going to buy tickets? Does it mean that they're going to do your crowdfunding? Does it mean that they're coming to your shows? No, 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 no. These are just metrics. We don't just want metrics. We need real fans. We need real people because it doesn't help our career. You know what it does? It just makes us be able to tell people, I got 100,000 followers. But who cares? If it's not helping your life, it's not helping advance your career, if it's not helping you share your music and get your music heard, what's the point? It's a waste of your time. Your, your time is better spent following people that have a higher probability of becoming real fans. Follow for follow is just a bunch of people who want metrics. They just want to say that they've had, that they have a number of followers and that doesn't help you. 
it's a waste of time. Uh, Jazz says, what if all the people you find are just other musicians? Is that a bad thing? That usually doesn't happen. So I'm not sure you might be targeting a little, uh, little off, but if people are musicians, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I follow a lot of musicians. I listen to their music. I really respect them. Um, but if you're, if, as long as you're targeting like, um, artists, they usually have typically have a, a higher percentage of just fans other than musicians. So. Uh, let's see. Dan says, what about following people who like their posts? You can do that. Um, it's not going to be as effective as following people who comment on their posts. Liking is really easy, right? Someone can just like, 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 like. But if someone takes the time to comment, if you have that person as a fan, that means they're probably taking time to listen to your music as well. That's why targeting people who comment are even more valuable than probably anything else that you could find. Like that's the quickest access to finding a fan to like this whole fan hacking method, right? I should probably just call this webinar like fan hacking 101, right? Something like that. So does that make sense, everybody? Is that, is that, do you guys have questions about that? Leo says, I love your content. You always inspire me and I'm proud of your work. Thanks, Leo. I, you know, I think a lot of this stuff, you know, it's not like rocket science. It's just something like if you think about it, like, hey, how can I get in front of fans really fast? And you should always just ask yourself those questions. How do I get in front of fans really fast? How do I build it? Like, how do I not think about what everybody else says? Like, what everybody else says all this, and then I always feel like I'm over here. Like, guys, I, actually, I found the fast way, you know? Like, everyone's going like, like this, and I'm like, hey, I found this little tunnel. I'm just going to go down this tunnel. And that's going to get me there really fast. I always feel like I'm that like annoying little person, little rat that's just all, hey, I'm going to share with everybody else, you know? And that's how I am. If I discover something, I'm like, I want to share it. So um, thanks. I'm glad you enjoy it. Dakota says, I love stuff like this. Not many people would even try to help other people. Thanks. I like it. Elvis says, I got a new follower. Let's go in the first five minutes. Awesome. See how cool that is? I love it. Yeah. And if you guys are getting any followers, write it right now in the chat box. Write down if you've gotten any followers. Alex says it makes sense. I am learning a lot. Thank you, Christine. Awesome. Let me see if you guys have any other questions. I'm looking through here. Dakota says in those groups, half the time you follow them and they probably won't even follow you back or follow you back then and follow you. Exactly. And they're not going to interact with you. You are speaking the truth. Awesome. Kevin says he's got a new follower already. Awesome, and I, it's only been a few minutes, guys. It's only been a few minutes. So as we continue on, post in that chat box. The moment you get your first follower, put first follower, okay? Put your first follower in that chat box the moment that you get it. Jason says, I'm learning a lot of new stuff. Thanks so much for sharing all of this. Awesome, do you guys have any questions? We covered three things. DFF, first step was design. We talk about creating an Instagram that people want to follow. We have to show exactly who we are and represent ourselves in all of our musical glory, right? You're you performing, right? You singing or rapping. You, if you're a producer, maybe that's you behind making some music. If you're a musician, that's you playing your instrument. If you're a teacher, that's you teaching music, whatever that is. You know, your lyric videos, your music videos, you singing acoustically, you know, or maybe you singing along with the karaoke track. People love that kind of stuff. You maybe you sing, I post videos of me playing piano with my son all the time those always get way more videos uh way more video views than me just playing by myself people love that they love to see real right you're posting a lot of things like that right your album artwork behind the scenes footage photos and videos of you writing you're in your pajamas and you're behind a microphone that kind of stuff right that's our first step design people need to see who you are your bio needs to say exactly who you are, what kind of music you make, what kind of artist you are, if you've won any awards or any type of things like that. Then step two is find. You find, you, you locate two artists that sound most like you. For myself, I'm a singing pianist. I use Alicia Keys and John Legend as an example, right? So we know that if we get in front of their fans, they're more likely going to like me as well. Third step is follow, which is kind of like a follow or engage step. You can either follow their followers, but if you put a few little extra seconds in there, if you follow the people that interact with each of their posts, 
those are highly targeted fans that are more likely and more probable to listen to your music and become real fans. And if you guys have ever heard of the term true fans, when they talk about all you need is a thousand true fans who will spend a hundred dollars with you a year. Okay. That's not a lot. That means they probably bought your album. Maybe they bought a t-shirt and a ticket to your show or donated some money to your crowdfunding. That's a hundred dollars. If you have a thousand people, just a thousand people that are willing to spend a hundred dollars a year with you, you're making a hundred thousand dollars a year. You have now become a six figure artist. Do you see how easy that is? When you put it in that way for you to make a living without being famous, without having a record label, without having a manager, without even having a big social media or having like lots of people on Spotify, anything like that. You just need a thousand true fans that are willing to do that. And this is why I'm so adamant about this. You don't have to be super famous for you to make a living. I mean, a lot of you guys have probably never even heard my music. I told you guys I have like two or 3,000 monthly listeners on Spotify, yet I've traveled the world, yet I broke six figures as a musician. I'm not a millionaire, but I'm pretty happy. I do what I want. I make my own rules. I don't have a boss. I built a house a couple of years ago. I'm a single mom. I take care of my son. We don't have to worry about how we're going to you know, survive, which is awesome because there's a lot of single moms out there that have it hard. There's a lot of musicians that have it hard, yet I'm a single mom and musician and doing just wonderful. That's why it's so important to kind of shift your mind state out of what everybody's telling you that you have to do. Forget all those things that people say. We just need to focus on finding the right fans and building those relationships with those fans because those fans will love and support you. The fact that they can actually talk to you, they can't talk to Beyonce. Beyonce can't write that she's a mega star. So the way that you compete and the way that you create your career is the fact that you do interact with them, the fact that you are following them on Instagram, the fact that maybe you're going through and liking their photos every now and then, the fact that you're writing back to them. Those fans want to support you, which is really, really incredible. Um, <clears throat> Louise says, I was checking on many artists and I found that they have two Instagram accounts, one with thousands of followers and following like 200 or less, another account has less than 10K followers and they're following more than the followers. Don't quite understand your, your message, but... Um, Let's see here. Dan has four new followers already. Awesome, congratulations. That's from the webinar, how cool is this? Jeffrey says, great content, uh, content, I'm inspired. Margie says, would you consider looking at my Instagram and tell me if the design is how you have described? I cannot do that. I get like a lot of requests for that. This is your job, okay? I, I believe in you, you can do this. Um, Jason says, do you use YouTube to help promote yourself? Uh, not a whole lot, um, to be honest. Um, I mainly just focus, Instagram is my big one, and then I get people's email addresses from Instagram, and I focus on my email list. That's what I focus on. Jad says, I expect if accounts are private, then don't follow them. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. I don't follow private accounts, and I don't uh, follow accounts that don't have, like, active social media. Um, Leo says, I hear your music, and honestly, it's beautiful. I start to realize my music, like, four or five years ago as an independent. Awesome. Well, thank you. Jason says, cool, cool. Jad says, thanks. Does all of that make sense? Someone says, do you offer one-on-one -on -one program? I do. I do. And in fact, I'm going to be talking about that here in just a little bit, Emily. So thank you for asking. Um, and actually, while we're there, what, is that something that interests you guys? Because I am going to chat about that on how I do work with artists. And in fact, I am going to be giving away a free membership to work with me for an entire year here very soon. Jason says, yes. Margie says, yes, I love it. Ginny says, yes, one-on-one -on -one info would be great. Awesome, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about that here in just a sec. Jason says, I would love that too, thanks. Awesome. All right, guys, so that concludes our one fan growth hack. That's just one. There's like so many that I've done over the years and it's really cool and I love to share these, I told you guys. Um, so there are many hacks to grow your fan base. So, um, and you know, there, you can just do, it's, it's just honestly, it's just amazing what you can do now. And for those of you that would like professional guided help, I created something called Music Hustler Live. Some of you guys that are here right now might already be members. I'm gonna be talking about it today. So if you're already a member, we've already gone through our training. You can stick around if you want though. I welcome you. In fact, I've had a few people that show up on every webinar, even though I, talk about the same stuff. I've been doing this one for every Friday for the last few weeks. But um, this is a, you're welcome to stick around. I, I always find it a big compliment, people that just wanna come and hang out with me. 
Billy says really interested in the one-on-one -on -one program. Josephine says one-on-one -on -one would be great for me. Awesome. So I do one-on-ones. I also do a really awesome program called Music Hustler Live. And we're going to be talking about that right now. Okay. So for those of you that want more help, right? We, we, I feel like we did a lot today. Was that really helpful for you guys? Put yes in the chat room. If you felt like now you can do this, you feel like, Hey, maybe this was kind of something that you didn't really think about before, but you think that this is easy enough, right? Is it easy enough? Is it something that Ginny says? Yes. Dakota says yes. Kenny says yes. Jason says yes. Kevin says indeed. Kevin says, Christine, you really changed the game for me. Thank you. Awesome. Sean says yes, exceedingly. Josephine, Josh, Jad, Alex. Awesome. Okay, great, great. I'm so glad that you guys um, understand it because I've, like I've mentioned before, it, it is my main goal to make sure that you guys leave today telling her, I want you guys to just tell everybody, Christine's the best. That's what I want. You know, I, I, I really want, and I want you guys to go, wow, I spent my time learning something today that I didn't know because you guys are sticking around with me for a while. This is a, a you know, you guys could be doing anything else. And so I take it very seriously that you're here and I want you guys to leave with some really valuable information that you can apply to your life right away, right? And you don't feel like you just wasted your time, right? Margie, Margie says, Christine is the best. Yay, that's what I wanted. That's my goal. I just want people to say that. Jenny says, doable. Your charisma enthusiasm helps taking action more feasible. Good. We got to have that, man. We got to have that. Like every day I wake up, I'm, I feel like I'm like a boxer. I'm like, all right, I got to get into the, you know, I got to get into the mode because it's hard. Sometimes life is hard. Sometimes I wake up, my son is screaming at me, you know, he's throwing up on the floor. I'm picking up vomit. And then the next thing I know, I'm here with you guys. Right. So I got to stay positive. All right. Uh, Jessica says, how might I get in touch with you about any Mexico related opportunity? There's a different email. Um, you can. If you go to info at musichustler.com, email info at musichustler.com and say, please forward this to Christine. Okay. You can do it right there. Uh, all right. So we're going to be talking about Music Hustler Live. If you want more help, if you want more tips like this, if you want more help, I've told you guys that I've created a career where I've broke $100,000 a year as a musician without a record label, without a manager. You know, I'm not famous. I don't have anything like that yet. I've traveled the entire world and I've done a lot of things that big artists get to do and I've done it on my own, on my own roles. I don't have any big record label exec going, this is who you gotta work with, this is how you gotta dress, this is the style of music you gotta make. I still don't have a manager and I've done sometimes 400 shows a year and I just, I get to keep all my money and I have a really good time doing it, all right? So Music Hustler Live is something that I created so that I could work with other artists, right? I'm a single mom, I only have so much time yet I love to be here with other artists. So this is for singers, rappers, bands, and independent artists who want to learn how to promote your music. This is for artists who want to get their music heard. It's for artists and bands who want to build a sustainable music career. That's my favorite thing. I love to help people do that. And this is for anyone who wants to turn what they love into a living and artists who want guidance and real help rather than trying to figure it out on their own. I'm one of the only people who show up. I like to show up and be here for you guys. Most of these musical um, people that do these types of courses and these types of things, they like give you a bunch of videos and they're like, good luck. I like to be here. I never had anybody do this for me. I told you guys, I grew up on a farm. Uh, I grew up, you know, not having a lot of money. I grew up thinking that, you know, it, it just a very violent place, very lots of poverty. I grew up knowing that I wanted to get out and I didn't know how, and it took me a long time. And I've been through different things where I've shared these stories before, where I've slept in my car, I've bathed in a gas station, I sold my music door to door, um, I sold my music in fairs and festivals, I sang on people's doorsteps. Like I've done so many things and, and went through those things. I never had anybody guide me. It means a lot for me to be here with you guys. It means a lot to me because I feel like there were people that helped me along and to be here and be able to do that for you guys is, is really an absolute pleasure. And I wanted to be able to do this even more. So I created this for beginners who want to build their career the right way, okay? Instead of wasting a lot of time, I mentioned time is just the most precious thing. You cannot get that back. No matter how much money you have in the world, you can never buy your time. Experience, this is for experienced artists, right? Whether you're a beginner or experienced artist who are either still trying to figure it out or just looking for more creative ways to build their careers. 
This is for people who want to build their fans and followers. This is for artists who want to get on major media like television, radio, magazines, blogs, websites, and more. And this is more for, this is also for people who want to learn how to make money off your music. And then one of my favorites, people that want to learn how to book paid shows. It took me all over the world. I went all over the world, every continent except for Antarctica. I went to exotic islands. I performed on tops of buildings and, and just got to really see the world, uh, which was absolutely incredible. So I love to do that. So um, would you guys like for me to show you what's in it? Alex says, I'm already part of Music Coaster Live and it's amazing. I definitely recommend it. Yeah. Sechi says, yes, she does. So true. Christine shows up for us consistently. Thanks, Sechi. It's a pleasure having you in there all the time, by the way. You're such an incredible artist. Dan, you already got two followers. Awesome. Billy says, I love your love. Um, Zachary says, just joined. How about to catch up? Join next week. Zachary, how'd you join? I didn't give you the link. Um, you actually have to have the link to join Music Hustler Live. Oh, or you just joined the webinar. Is that what you mean? Didn't quite understand your thing. Uh, Jason says, I love your passion. Jason says, yes, queen. Awesome. And Kevin says, thank you. All right, I'm going to share what's, what is in it okay because there's a lot of really cool things that i've created in the past and i used to sell all these things in uh separately but now i just give them to you guys free when you join music Hustler live which is pretty cool so i'm going to be giving you guys all of these really cool resources that i created myself all right these are all written and created by me so these are all the things that i've used to create my career um there's something that i created called a three-step epk creator this is like your online resume right if you don't have an epk you should have one it's your electronic press kit to help you perform and hit stages and get paid. These help if you're trying to reach out to, you know, producers and songwriters, publishing companies, lawyers, or even if your goal is to get a record deal. It's important for you to have an electronic press kit. I cover how to do that. Um, the next thing that I give you is my media booking blueprint. Um, this is how independent artists can get on radio, magazines, blogs, websites, and TV. Again, all without a record label, without spending money, without any of those things. If you were here at the beginning of the webinar, I shared a lot of photos where I've been on Fox and NBC and CBS and um, traveled all over the, the country. You know, Power 106, KISS FM, I've done radio tours, I've done 25 city tours, and I've stopped in at, you know, big television stations in all of these cities and states. And I've been able to do that despite the belief that a lot of people say that you have to have a lot of money or you have to have a big hit song. I've been able to do these things without it. And I share all of those things in here with you guys to show you how I've done it so that you can do it as well. Um, I also give you uh, how to get paid to perform starter kit, which is cool. This is like a bunch of lessons that share my step-by-step -step process and how I've booked more than uh, up to 400 shows a year, paid shows. They were all paid. They weren't open mics. They weren't like those things where people are like, well, you should come perform because it's good exposure. It wasn't anything like that. I got paid for every single one of these. I told you guys that it's, it's taken me all over the world. I've seen a lot of cool things. So um, on top of that, I give you guys winning booking scripts. Um, these are actually emails that you can copy and paste that I use when I'm sending to booking agents, right? If I want to get booked, that I send to venues, if I want to get booked, that I send to uh, radio hosts, that I send to TV hosts, or I've even gotten big sponsorships from like companies like McDonald's and, and that, those types of things. I actually give you guys all the scripts that I wrote out, the actual emails, so you don't have to think, you know, how do I write out emails to get, you know, to contact a producer, that sort of thing. Um, I also give you this tool, how I use this one simple loophole that allows me to book shows locally or around the world without having to audition, have a manager, or a big social media presence. This has been really cool because I told you guys I've booked shows. I booked a tour in Australia. Um, I've done things in the French Polynesian Islands. Me and my band went on tour on, in Tahiti, uh, Bora Bora, the island of Morea, and a couple other places that we went. We were able to go because I booked us there. Um, which was really, really cool. And this is uh, something that will help guide you in that place. A lot of you guys have gotten this already. It's the 4,592 independent magazines, radio stations, music blogs, and Spotify playlists to help your music go viral. We literally spent, I think, something like a thousand hours compiling this. Um, this is an incredible 
resource. Um, a lot of you guys have this, but if you join the group, you actually get the updated versions every year as well, uh, which is pretty cool. So it can take you hours and hours to find like 20 of these. We're giving you like 4,500 of these. You can actually email them, send out your music. If you have music videos, you know, if you have a cool bio or if you want to do an interview, you can actually reach out to them directly. We give you their social media contacts and everything so that you can contact them to really increase your chances of getting featured. You know, it's really awesome whenever you see your like music video get published or to do an interview. I remember my very first interview, I felt like I was like freaking, um, you know, just on top of the world. And so those are really exciting. So we give you that. We also give you, I just released this a couple months ago, uh, more than 4,000 more Spotify playlist curators. So these are people that have all created playlists that you can actually send your music to directly for consideration to get your music um, featured as well. Now, now that COVID is opening up, this is actually my very first list that I ever, ever made. And it still to this day is one of my favorite because I love being on stage. I know that that's most artists, most artists really, really love to be on stage and to, you know, just really feel the crowd and share our music. There are fairs and festivals all around the United States that have budgets um, to uh, pay artists. And these are more than 3000 of them separated by each state. Um, this one's mainly in the United States, of course, um, all the other resources are um, international except for one other one. But this one's really cool because you can contact them directly. You can send them your music. I actually give you the free course that shows you how to write the email, how to contact them, what kind of content to send them. So it can increase your chances of getting booked and hopefully make some money performing as well. Um, I also put together this uh, list. This is one of the newer ones too. 1,798 record labels, a &Rs, and music lawyers that shop record deals publishers and more. A lot of people don't know what publishers are. Hey, Jen. Publishers are uh, companies that will get your music placed on movies, commercials, film, video games, all those types of things, right? And those things pay a lot. Those start in the thousands. And the concept behind this is that what they do basically is it's very expensive to get like a, a you know, Ariana Grande song on a Ford commercial. So rather, they get a lot of music from independent artists because they know if they pay an independent artist, you know, like 50 grand, right? And that's not like, like highly, um, you know, it happens often, guys. Um, what's amazing is they know if they pay an artist 50 grand that that's a great paycheck for the artist, whereas someone like Ariana Grande is never going to allow that, right? Her stuff gets synced for really expensive. But what's amazing about this is they get songs for less expensive and you make a great deal out of that, right? You make good money out of that. And that's what publishers do. So you can send your music directly to them, which is really awesome. Um, you're also going to get 494 booking agents who book paid shows for artists, fans, DJs, comedians, speakers, and more. These are separated by state. So if you're looking for um, agents to uh, reach out to in your state, or if you're looking to book a tour, you want to reach out to uh, agents all over the country. Many of these agents actually book all over the country as well, which is really cool. So um, I also give away this really cool thing. I, I used to get so stressed out over social media and I'd be like, man, what do I post today? What do I do? And so I've made myself like a, a, a media planner, right? Like I would make out my whole media planner for the whole month. And then after a while I thought, hey, if I'm having trouble figuring out what to post on social media, I should probably share my media planner. So I put together a 365 day social media planner. Um, and this actually gives you ideas, content, actual memes and everything that you can create so that you can post online, which is really cool. I give that to you for free. This is all the stuff you get, guys. It's a lot of stuff. And in fact, each of those books usually sell for $20 and the courses usually sell for around 47. All of those things you're gonna get in the Music Hustler Life program. You're gonna get access to all of those. One of my favorite things that you're also going to get is I created a Facebook group called um, Music Hustler Live. It's exclusive to only members of our group. So the only people that are part of this are people who have joined the group. So rather than joining like a public group where maybe you have a lot of riffraff and a lot of kind of people just spamming and spamming and spamming, these are all very focused people. They're all, they're all paying to be part of this group, right? So it's people that are taking it seriously. It's not people that are in there for free. It's not people that are in there just, you know, fooling around going, hey, I wonder if this music thing's gonna work. These are all very focused 
people. So I've seen a lot of people collaborate, a lot of people share their music and, and you know, we kind of get behind each other and we share, hey, what do we think about it? How can we make it better? I've seen producers and singers collaborate and actually make music together and actually release music together. And then they come back and, you know, I told you guys I have a PR company. We actually get artists, you know, um, published on blogs and websites and that sort of thing. I've seen them then come back around and then hire a PR company to get them published. And that's like the coolest thing in the world to see that, you know, we're able to create a community where we can support each other and then come back around and then get published in, you know, blogs and websites. That's been really, really cool. Now, my favorite thing, David says, where can I get the package? I'm about to show you here in just a second. You said also, is there any information about submitting music to music supervisors? Yes, so actually in all of these resources, I give uh, tutorials. I share with you exactly how to uh, respond to them, what to say. I actually give you all the email templates and everything. You can literally just copy and paste it and just customize it. So it makes it really easy. And then I also talk about the benefits of it and what they all mean. Cause I know sometimes people are like, what's a music supervisor or what's a booking agent do? I actually cover all of those things um, so that whether you're a beginner or whether you're advanced it's all covered in there there's a ton of a ton of material in there um my favorite thing about this is this part of it every monday we meet just like we did today exactly like we did today except we do it on zoom and um you're able to ask any questions that you have anything about anything music and then i also each week have a different topic that i cover on so um you know and and so it's usually a few hours i go on there i talk to everybody i find out what you know obstacles people are having i you know if you have a question about a um you know my thoughts on a song or questions about a press release or questions about how to book a show or how to make a music video or whatever questions you have how to copyright your music how to get your music in you know in the hands of certain people i i share with you guys how i've done it and i'm just there that's the thing and, and i think that that's the most important thing like i told you guys i've never had anybody do that for me i never had anybody just show up where i could ask those questions where i could be there i always had to figure it out on my own and i wasted a lot of money i got scammed out a lot of money and as a female i ended up in a lot of really weird vulnerable situations especially in the music industry because the music industry can be a little slimy we all know that um, so I like showing up. I even have like a 13 year old student in there, which is really cool, which is super exciting because, right? I mean, what were you doing when you were 13? Like playing video games and that sort of thing, right? I'm just like the fact that she's even in there like learning and asking questions just really impresses me. So um, it's very cool. We're there every week and there's always replays. So if you miss it, I send out the replay and you're able to watch it um, no matter what. So uh, Kevin says, oh my God, no way. Kevin says it's every Monday. Yes, it is. It's every Monday. So that's the cool thing. So every Monday we meet every single week, every single week. I have never missed a single week. So that's the cool thing about it. It's called Music Hustler Live. And I do a lot of really cool giveaways. I did a music studio yesterday. I literally shipped it out today. Uh, one girl, one, we shipped out the, the, the home studio, right? We give away microphones. We give away all kinds of, I think I've given away three home studios now. So I like to make it fun. Like I don't just want everybody in there and be like, we got to study and work. I like to also make it really, really fun uh, for everybody as well. Uh, Margie says, I was literally writing and arranging music as a freelancer. Uh, Kevin says, Betty, you're so funny, Kevin. I, I like having you in here. Um, so here, I'll give you just a little bit more info and then I'll give you the, guys the, the, the information because I know a lot of you guys are asking how to sign up. So I'm going to share it with you. Give me just a second. So here is my promise to you. Billy says I work on Mondays, so you send a link that I can watch later. Yes, always. I always send out a uh, replay, um, usually within about 48 hours. So my promise to you guys is that I'll hold your hand during this process. And I enjoy it, guys. I really do enjoy it. I'll answer the questions that you have so that you're not overwhelmed and you're not left to figure things out on your own. And then I'm going to reveal all the latest and greatest strategies that I've learned. I'm always testing out new things, platforms, marketing strategies, and I'll share my results with you. And I, I even share things if they don't work, right? I'll say, hey, I tried this. It didn't work. Don't do it. Don't waste your money, right? And how you can apply it to your career. And I'm going to give the attention that you won't find anywhere else. Literally no one who's doing this. No one's doing it. And I'm sharing everything that I have with you. I'm not withholding info like most artists who have found success out there. There's a lot of artists who figure out ways to do things and they keep it to themselves. They're like, I'm not going to share with them, you know, 
I think that there's plenty of space for all of us. Everybody likes music. There's plenty of space for us to be successful together. There's plenty of space for us to come up together. And I share all those things that have worked for me in my career and got to, you know, I share with you guys my story. I started from literally the middle of the desert in New Mexico, raising a pig named Cacahuate. That's where I started. So, so I worked in a tortilla factory. Fast forward to now I've traveled the entire world doing music, every continent, except for Antarctica. I've performed up to 400 page shows in a year. I've gone to do some very cool things. So from where I started to where I am now, I have learned countless valuable things and I am an open book and I share those things just like I did today. And it's, it's almost exactly like it is right now. Pretty um, uh, free spirited. We just sit here and we talk, right? What do you guys want to talk about today? I answer those questions and then I usually share maybe a new software that I'm working with or a new service that like last week I was talking about a really cool site that I found where you can uh, literally post, uh, submit your music to like radio DJs and festivals and all kinds of really cool opportunities really fast. And you don't have to write out emails or anything like that. You literally just hit submit, 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 submit. And I used it and I got booked for a lot of interviews, which was really cool. Cause I know some of you have never even had your first interview. Those types of things are very helpful to know how to do that, right? So those are the types of things that I cover. But I also ask for a promise to me okay because this is important it's important that you're going to show up for the trainings if you can i know some of you guys can't show up but watch the replays apply what i share with you come in with a positive mindset and an open mind if you come in going oh i don't know we'll see if this works it's probably not even good if you join because the music industry isn't something that's like that this is for the strong spirited these are for the people who have decided that they're not going to be like the rest of people right? We're not the type of people that chose to just get a job that we don't like and just settle for that. No, we're saying I love something and I love music and it makes me so happy and there's nothing else that would make me happier. And I'm going to dedicate my time. And even if you only have an hour a day, even only if you have certain time, those steps, those baby steps accumulate to something very, very amazing. And, um, and uh, Will Smith said something that I really loved and I came across his video the other day. He talks about, um, you know, sometimes we look at the whole building, right? Look at our music career. We look at everything and we get overwhelmed. And we're like, how in the world am I gonna do that? Everyone says I gotta do Instagram and Facebook and sell music and, and you know, master my music and shoot music, music videos. When we look at the whole, whole building, right? And this is kind of just an a, a analogy. If we look at the whole music career, we get scared right? It can be, it can be intimidating. And Will Smith said, don't look at building a perfect building. That's not what we're going to look at. Instead, we're going to look at laying every brick perfectly. If we lay every brick perfectly, eventually we're going to have that incredible building. Each of these decisions that you make every day, the little time that you put in every day, it's like you're laying those bricks. If you don't lay those bricks, you'll never have the building. And it may take you a little while and it may take you longer than you want, but that time is going to arrive anyway. And when that time arrives, do you want to have a building or do you want to still be sitting around going, man, it would be nice to have a music career. Maybe I could have one if I had started. That's not what I want for you. And I know that that's not what you want for you. That's why it's so important for us to lay those bricks. And that's what we're going to be doing. Okay. Again, your promise to me is that you're going to do the work that I've laid out for you and that you're going to go into this believing wholeheartedly that you can achieve the results you desire if you stay committed so I can help you create the career you deserve. Again, we have to have this mentality. We have to have this fighter mentality. We, we Again, we're not just trying to have a regular job. We are trying to do music for a living. So we got to like, we got to really, really have a great spirit and have those belief that we can wholeheartedly do this. All right. And last, okay, this is the last thing. You're going to promise me that you're going to accept responsibility for creating great music. Okay. That whole, I can lead you to water, but I can't make you drink. Right. I can teach you all my ways, but if you don't have great music, I can't help you any further. Okay. You got to make great music as long as you're making good stuff. And as, you, as long as you're always, you know, becoming better and I can help you get there. You know, if you need help and maybe you're going, yeah, my music's all right. I need some help. I can help you get there, but it is important that you understand that without a great product, it is hard to build a fan base, right? You can't make people buy your music. They have to like your music. So as long as you apply my methods, it will work. All right. Let me check these uh, comments really quick. Uh, Kevin says, you're the best. Billy says, I know my music. Kevin says, I'll watch the replays I haven't seen yet. Trini says, facts. Dakota says, when you reach for the moon, even if you miss, you're still amongst the stars. I've always loved that quote. That's wonderful. 
Kevin says we're planting seeds. Yes, Christine. Yes, I love it. Elva says this is a very necessary community. What you're doing is so beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for coming, Elvis, because we're building this community together. Uh, Travis says I literally have all of your packages except for the social media calendar. Awesome. I mean, is there a way that you can get that product by yourself? Uh, you can if you just go to artistmediaplanner.com. All you got to do is go to artistmediaplanner.com. You can get it by yourself. David says, Christine Morell, thank you for this webinar. Awesome. Uh, Billy says, do you listen to our music? Yeah, actually, in the Facebook group, you can post your music. I listen to the music. I comment. If you want me to you know, give you a review, I do. I, I love it. And in fact, I've met some of the most talented people just from working with uh, people in the group. Uh, Jenny says, you're an amazing leader in the music industry. Thanks, Jenny. I appreciate that. All right, Billy says, yes, you're great. Awesome. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to sign up. But first, I'm going to share with you guys some of the people that I've worked with so you can kind of get an idea of some of the cool results that I've gotten. And these are people that have worked their butt off, okay? So this isn't every person that joins, and I don't guarantee these results. These are results of people who applied what I taught them, but these people worked their butts off, created great music, and then applied the methods that I taught, and which is why they got these incredible results. All right, we got Marcel. Marcel actually came on to one of our uh, webinars recently. Um, the very first song that he ever recorded, he had never even created music. This blows my mind because he just is such an exception to like, you know, the rule that you hear, you got to make tons of music and hopefully one day. No, he made one song and he got on the CW. His very first song he got on television, uh, which was very, very, very cool. He had never even a written song in his life. And so he used um, the, the section that I have covering how to get on media. He followed every single step and he got on CW within days after his release. Uh, one of my favorite people, Troy Romzek, very, very cool guy, man. Super, super talented. Uh, he he um, wanted to start performing for a living. That's what he wanted to do. And so I started uh, covering exactly how to do the steps. He did every single thing and he didn't just do it, man. He like rocked it. And within one month, he was doing about three or four shows a week. So he was quickly making $5,000 a month. And when he had originally come to me, he was homeless. He had moved in with his grandma. His girlfriend has bro had broken his guitar in half and he had lost his job as a bartender. So he was coming to me kind of just like, man, you know, I'm on my last whim here, but I've always wanted to do music. I've never had guidance. And guys, literally within like nine days, we had his first show booked, which was really cool. That was part of his goals. And I've shared with you guys that I had, I have a love for, for booking shows. And one more group that I worked with um, that I absolutely love. These guys are amazing. Our Los Five. These guys, look at them. Aren't they super handsome? Uh, when they came into, I used to do an a awesome uh, show in Hollywood once a week, and I worked with these um, boys. They came in, and right, the guy right in the middle was 16 years old at the time. They were just like a little, you know, kind of just a bunch of guys that were like, we want to do, do music, but we don't know what to do. And uh, they were very cool. And um, they, they said, you know, they're all from South America, very, very humble group of people, but some of the most talented kids that I had ever seen, they had like a boy band and a real band, like they played instruments and they wrote the music and it was really cool. And I went over to their apartment. They were like, this is where we live. And they had a one bedroom apartment. They had two, um, two bunk beds and then a mattress that they pulled out of the bunk bed, right? So they had five of them sleeping in a one bedroom. I don't know how they didn't like you know, rip each other apart because can you imagine five people sleeping in one bedroom, but they did it. And they um, they ate at Subway every day. Uh, Juan, the guy second to the right told me, he's like, man, we go to Subway every day. We spend, you know, we buy the $5 foot longs and we eat one for lunch and we eat one for dinner. And I just loved their story because they said, I don't care if we are living in a one bedroom apartment. I don't care what we're doing. We are making it. And um, they were just so inspiring to me started working with them, um, booked some of their very first shows and everything. And quickly they were in front of um, hundreds and hundreds of people in shows. I mean, within just a few weeks, um, eventually we got them signed to uh, Capitol Records within just a few weeks. Um, they were signed. They actually had a record deal and they traveled all over the world. This is them on a TV show. This is them performing. Um, they also headlined over at iHeartRadio. Uh, which was, if you're familiar with iHeartRadio, you have like Nicki Minaj and Drake and you have all the biggest artists of the year. You have their emblem in the back. I mean, how cool is that? How cool would that be to have your name like behind you, knowing that you're on the same roster as all the biggest artists, right? You have Ariana Grande, Wiz Khalifa, you have all the biggest artists that you're rocking. And knowing that they had only been in this country, some of them for less than a year, right? Which was really, really cool. So for them to do that, it was absolutely um, 
life-changing for me because it was one of the first groups that I had worked with and to realize that that was possible and to realize um, that it was um, uh, to be connected in a way that I could have connected them to the right to create the right pieces was insane and made me realize how much I enjoy working with other people as well as creating my own music right um, they were on the Today Show, which was huge. That's them on the left on the Today Show. Uh, got to perform their music. They were on radio stations. I mean, they did a ton of different um, things, which were really, really cool. So those were just a few of the groups. I've worked with a lot more than that. I have booked more than 500 artists. I have done a lot, a lot, a lot. But these are just some of the few highlighted ones that I've worked with. And once again, this was a combination of their amazing talent and um, just connecting the right pieces and um, just really when you put yourself out there there's no like this is how you make it in the music industry that never happens like that it is a unclear path but you have to put yourself out there right there's no guarantee that you're going to be successful but you can guarantee that you're not going to be successful if you don't try and that's the thing and we don't want that we need to put ourselves out there and i've always said i never want to go to my grave wondering what if i had tried harder that's not what we want we have all these gifts and talents we want to share those with the world so working with me personally um if you've ever been on my, any of my other webinars um they normally started around a few thousands a few thousand dollars um some of them have even paid up to seventeen thousand for my one-on-one -on -one programs um i do plan on selling the music hustler program for $197 a month. And check out this slide, I totally messed that up. I do not plan on selling it for $2,197 a month. That is an error, but $197 a month. But I have just launched it. It is brand new. It's only been around for eight weeks now. It is $47 a month. We get all of the resources that we talked about today and we meet every single week. For you to sign up, you can go to musichustlerlive.com backslash register you're immediately going to have access to all of these things right how to get to paid to perform starter kit you're going to get the media booking blueprint that shows you how to get your music on major media like television i showed you the guy who got on cw right away within days with the first song that he ever released you're going to get the artist 365 day social media planner you're going to get the 3,000 fairs and festivals that pay you to perform in the united states you get the 494 booking agents you get the more than 4,000 blogs websites magazines um, that publish independent music you get the you know more than a thousand record labels a and r's music lawyers and publishers and you also get my new book that I just put out, which has more than 4,000 Spotify playlist curators for those of you that are looking to build Spotify. I know there was a lot of people that were looking for that earlier. So uh, Jad says, is it suitable for those based outside of the US? I'm in the UK. Absolutely, Jad. Everything I teach you, um, I have a lot of international students, a lot, lot, lot. So everything I teach you, and I've actually helped people book shows in other countries um, as well. So all of this is um, applicable. Um, the only two resources that are mainly based in the United States are the booking agents. So mostly those are in uh, the United States and then the fairs and festivals list, those are in the United States. So those particular books are in the US, but all the others apply to anywhere in the world. And all of the uh, concepts that I teach are applicable to the music industry as a whole in the entire world and if you notice i mean we have those magazines and those blogs and those websites and those sorts of this spotify playlists that play music they don't care where you're from they just want great music right they need to share and this is what i share with everybody people don't realize a lot of these websites or all of these websites that share independent music they have listeners and viewers that come every day right they need good content to share there's not enough quality independent artists out there, it's hard to find, right? There's a lot of independent artists, but to find quality independent artists. So they're actually searching for you, right? They're out there searching for you. Um, so if you can actually reach out to them, it gives you the upper hand, and especially if you can reach out to them quickly. So it's musichustlerlive.com backslash register. Uh, Margie, you want the one-on-one. -on -one. Um, put your email and I will uh, reach out to you personally about that one. I told you those started a few thousand dollars unless you want to do just a phone call. Um, those are less. 
but um, I actually am releasing a new one-on-one -on -one program. Again, those started a few thousand dollars. A lot of people are not in a position to do that. That's totally fine. That's why I created Music Hustler Live so that I can meet with people on a weekly basis. This is only $47 a month, or you can pay $197 for the entire year and you save like $600 or something like that. So when you go to the website, and I'll show you guys, you can sign up for the whole year for only $197. And not only that, I give you 100% money back guarantee. See, so there's no risk. I love this part of it, guys. I know that some of you guys maybe don't even know me. So you're like, who's this girl? I promise you, you start coming to our weekly webinars, you're gonna learn so much stuff, just like today. I mean, if you're still here right now, it's because you learned a lot, right? It's because you came and you said, wow, I've learned a lot. Let me hear what she has to offer. Well, now you get a whole 30 days. You're gonna get all those resources that I gave you and you're gonna get 30 days. We're gonna meet every single week. That means you get four meetings. We're going to meet every single week. I can answer any questions that you have and you can look at it and go, okay, it's worth it. And if you decide it's not, we just give you your money back, right? I know that it is hard being an artist. I know that sometimes you're limited here. I know 100% those things and those concepts that I'm gonna teach you, if you apply them, they will absolutely impact your music career and will change your life, which is why I offer this guarantee. It's 100% money back guarantee at the website on the page, musichustlerlive.com backslash register it's 47 dollars a month or you can pay 197 for the entire year for the annual membership and you actually save like 600 bucks so let me see if there's any questions here um jad says thank you um billy says can i have a partner to help me with this program he knows the tech side that i don't understand uh sure billy yeah that'd be fine go right ahead um, I know that the tech part stuff can be confusing, right? Software and all those kinds of things. Absolutely. Um, you just you would just need to reach out um, to me uh, when you uh, sign up, okay? And uh, Margie, you put your uh, email. Okay, let me take a picture of that and I'll reach out to you for sure. Um, then Margie says, whatever you did to coach those that were able to get signed, that's what I want. Okay, we'll definitely talk about that, okay? Uh, Billy says, can you email me the one-on-one? -on -one? Sure, I will too. We'll, uh, I can't email you the information about that, guys. Um, Jimmy says, awesome. For someone looking for specific strategies, would you recommend joining the group first before working with you one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, Jenny, that entirely depends on you. Um, I always tell everyone, if you're not sure, come join the group. You know, I mean, just like today, right? I give you guys this one. This was a free webinar. Nobody had to, to pay for any of this. I give you free information because I like for people to see how I teach. I like for people to see how I interact. I like for you to see if you even like me. Because if you like me and you like the way that I teach and you like the content that I covered, you're probably gonna wanna join one of my programs, right? And then I'm gonna be able to help you even more and it's gonna benefit you even more. It's the same thing with the one-on-one -on -one programs. Um, if you join like, let's say a music hustler, which I would recommend coming in and you decide that you really like the way that I uh, interact and what I teach, then I think it's a great way to kind of get even more familiar with what I do because those one-on-one -on -one programs are expensive. They are a few thousand dollars a month. If that's gonna be a big investment for you, you might wanna try me out a little bit, right? Some of you are already committed. Some of you guys are right, I already wanna do this. I'm already ready to sign up, I'm ready to go. That's great. And some of you guys need a little bit more and that's great too. Whatever you're comfortable with. I mean, that's how I you know, have um, gone through my music is just be, you know, uh, just like anything, you know, just really experiment, be cautious and always try out. I, I always, I learned from a lot of different people. You know, I've, I've, eventually once I started you know booking shows and learning how to do things I started making great relationships with agents and managers and different people and so I've worked with a lot of people and gained a lot of knowledge during the process which is what I recommend for you which is why you're here so you're already doing it so you're already on track um Esteban says what's the website so I, Esteban we're launching that in a couple months um, if you were interested in that, once again, it starts at five grand. Okay, I want to. I'm totally upfront with you guys. I don't want y'all to go through the whole thing and, and not be interested in it. Go start at five grand. If you're interested, you can put your email there, and I can. Um, not for the month, Esteban. No, it's like a 12 week program. Um, but you can put your information. Um, Sechi, you want, want that too? You know, Sechi, can you put your email there? I know I could find it, but it'll make it easier if I can. So if you put your uh, email information, Kevin says, Christine, you're the goat. You want to know something? I didn't even know what goat meant until like two days ago. I had to ask my sister. I'm like, what does goat mean? So thank you. And now that I know it's a compliment, thank you. But before, if you would have said that, I would have been like, what's a goat? Goats aren't very cute, you know? So, uh, all right, cool. I got a few different here. All right, I'll email you guys. 
So um, like I said, you have a 30 day money back guarantee. It's $47 a month or $197 for the year. Musiccustorlive.com backslash register. All right, we got a few people that want to do it. Okay, cool. So uh, let's do that. Jessica says, what is a GOAT? It is a, what is it? The acronym, what does it stand for? It's like the best at what you do. Someone put it in here because I um, I, I forgot what it was. My sister had to tell me what it, it actually meant. But And I'm going to show you guys how to sign up really quick because I know a few guys are, are asking. Um, let me show you really quick. So you're going to go here. Uh, let me open the browser because I know it can be a little confusing here. And if you've signed up, put it in the chat here that you've signed up because I want to know musiccustorlive.com backslash was it registered? And you know what I would recommend to those of you that are interested, Jad has just joined. Those of you that are interested in the one-on-one -on -one programs and some of you guys asked, um, you know, if, if you should join Music Hustler Live, what we can do is join Music Hustler and then you can apply you know, if, you, if you've tried it out and maybe you, you tried it out for a month or two and you've decided, yes, I wanna join the one-on-one, -on -one, we can apply what you've already spent and take that off the total, okay? So you don't have to, we can take that off. So if you've already spent $100, we'll take that off so that you can join the one-on-one -on -one program, right? So I think that would be probably a good thing um, for you guys if you wanna come try it out first before you join the one-on-one -on -one program. It's probably a good thing. I, I, just, I just thought of that. That's probably a good thing for you. Okay, so this is where you sign up. $47 a month or $197 a year. When you click on this, so you can sign up by PayPal or sign up by credit card. Either way, you still have the 30-day money back guarantee. When you click on this, um, it's going to pop up and you're going to be able to pick whichever one you want to do. So you can do um, the $47 a month or $197. Um, you end up saving quite a bit here. Um, you save about 400 bucks, I think. So um, let me see here. Kevin, uh, let me see if we send it for the one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, let me see. I'm signed up. Kevin, you're not signed up for the one-on-one. -on -one. The one-on-ones, like I said, those are they'll start at 5,000 for the one-on-one -on -one program. It's a 12-week program. Um, I don't launch those for another eight weeks. Those are coming out in about eight to 12 weeks, right? And that's a 12-week program. I do also offer one-on-one -on -one phone consultations. Those are 300 an hour. Okay, I always like to be upfront about this. If you guys are interested in those, if you just want a phone call, I do those all the time. Those are really great. Um, and we evaluate any questions that you have. You can send me your questions ahead of time. I'll check out your career, your music, everything that you have going on and can give you some advice on where to take your career from there. So I'm getting a lot of questions about that. So thanks, I appreciate that guys. Um, so let me show you guys, the, the someone's asking where to sign up. Um, right here, musiccustorlive.com backslash register. So there it is right there, musiccustorlive.com. Um, Jenny says, that's fantastic. Zachary says, greatest of all time. Elvis says, what is the one-on-one -on -one program? I'm not talking about it too much here. The one-on-one -on -one program I will be launching in about eight to 12 weeks. That's going to be a about a 12-week program. I'm going to be covering everything that you need and everything. We're going to be doing it all together. What you need to create to start making money as a musician, right? A sustainable music career, not just building your fan base, but how to actually monetize, okay? And for anybody joining the Music Hustler program, I would recommend joining and then anything that you've already spent in the Music Hustler program, we can actually apply to the one-on-one, -on -one, okay? So if you join Music Hustler for three months and you're like, okay, I'm ready to join the one-on-one -on -one program, we'll take off $150 off of your sign up. So that way you kind of get to, to even see more and more and we get to join every week because someone asked that specifically. You asked if you should join Music Hustler if you're thinking about doing the one-on-one. -on -one. I absolutely would. I want to make sure that you guys really want to be a part of that. So I would say join. You have 30 day money back guarantee. So if you decide that it's not for you, you're, you get those 30 days to test it out. I promise you, you're going to love it. You're going to learn so many cool things. Like I said, I'm an open book. I share absolutely everything I know and I love it. I love to help you guys. Uh, Kevin says, oh, okay. Kevin says, thank you for being up front. Yeah, I like to be up front. Uh, Leo says, I want to try to, I'm interested to join maybe one month or two because I have a hard schedule. Yeah, try it out, Leo. I would, I would absolutely recommend trying out for a month. Um, I would, I would say, I mean, if you're really committed, stick around, stick around for a few months, you're going to get a lot. And that's why most people actually join the year. Um, I would say like nine out of 10 people actually just join the year thing. If this is something that you know, you want to do, if you know that you're going, 
hey, I need a, a coach that's going to keep me accountable. I give you guys like homework every week. I'm like, go home, make your EPK. I need this set up by next week so we can move on to the next step. So now we can submit you to festivals. Now we can submit you to radios and radio stations and DJs and TV stations and podcasts and you know opportunities for shows. We're going to do that. That's what we cover in this program and that's why it's so valuable. Uh, Kevin says, awesome. I'm signed up for the Music Hustler for a year. Perfect, perfect. I would I would highly recommend that one. Um, again, for those of you that are saying, you know what, I, I just need a program that's, you know, affordable. It's affordable. And I need a coach. And that's really what I think was the most, um, I, I, if I had had that, that would have been the most life-changing thing for me, right? To have somebody that could keep me accountable, that could keep me on track, man. Like, that's the thing. And Because months can go by and you haven't even done anything for your music career. And earlier I talked about we have to build our music career brick by brick. And each week, that's our brick that we're laying. Um, let's see. Kevin says music hustler. And by the way, I just posted, like, we just launched some, like, cool music hustler apparel. You can get, like, T-shirts and hats now. It's all on my Instagram. Um, Sachi says, so true. Uh, Kevin says, that's amazing. Thank you. Billy says, I am signing up for the year. Awesome. Awesome. And once again, guys, this is going to go up. It's going to go up to 197 a month. It's, it's already been going up. So um, it is going to continue to um, go up as we fill up those spots. So um, once again, musichustlerlive.com backslash register. Um, do you guys have questions here? I know a lot of you guys are still here. If you've already signed up, super awesome. You'll be getting an email that has all your login information. So you can put your, you'll be able to log in and get access to all your resources right away. You're going to have access to all the replays that we've done. You're going to get invitations to our live webinars. Um, those are held on Mondays, but you'll get the invitations on Sunday and Monday. You're going to get it. Uh, you're going to be able to go and request to join our private Facebook group. You're going to get all of those things. If for any reason you don't get that, you need to just DM me on Instagram. I have a customer service rep. She checks it out. Just tell her, please. Um, I'm trying to join Music Hustler. You know, I didn't get my email or that sort of thing. It takes a few minutes, though. Okay. If you signed up, it'll take a few minutes to show up, but you'll eventually get it. Check your spam folder if for some reason you don't get it. Kevin says, I'm blessed to be part of this journey. Perfect timing. Awesome. Um, I feel all the blessings flooding in. Thank you for your energy. See, you're helping me keep all pumped up. Uh, you said tomorrow's my birthday, but this is like an early gift. What's well, a gift for me too? I just love seeing new members because every week we have new members that come in. Billy says, I have to leave, but I wanted to thank you so much. You're the real deal. Thank you, Billy. Thank you so much for joining. For those of you that haven't signed up, um, do you have any questions? You know, is there anything here that you go, hey, Chris, you know, I'd like to join, but I'm concerned about this. Or I'd like to join, hey, maybe if we threw in something else, you know, I would join. What would make you comfortable with being a part of this group? Like I said, 30-day money-back guarantee. That's why I threw that in there because someone had said, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. How do I know it's going to be worth it? And so I said, okay, well, how about we just give you a guarantee? And they said, well, that makes sense. Okay, we'll join. Um, you know, so they're able to join, you know, and come for four whole weeks and get all the resources and then and then try to tell me it's not, you know, valuable. And, of course, they were excited to join. So um, Jessica says a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Um, those are 300 an hour. Um, those, if you go to, if, if you want that, I'd have to uh, actually email you the link if you want that and I can put it in there. Just let me know. Um, and those are uh, one hour phone calls and you can send me your material if you want me to look it over, if you want me to read over any of your like bio or your website or anything like that, you can actually reach out to me and I'll set that up with you. Kevin says, I'm still getting followers, by the way. Awesome. Super, super awesome. STBG says, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. That's very sweet of you. So if I don't have any questions, let me give you guys another like 30 seconds. If you haven't signed up yet, go to musichustlerlive.com backslash register. Margie says, I just barely yesterday got the membership to Block One Records that I got from an email from you. Is that a good idea? Uh, Block One Records. I'm not sure which one you're talking about, Margie. Um, membership to Block One Records. I'm not sure what you're referring to on that one. Um, SCBG says, awesome. Congratulations to you for everything that you are doing. Are there any other questions before I move on to the last part of this? Jessica says, do you cover publishing? My acting agent is also a literary agent and is pushing that. You know, Jessica, 
publishing is not my expertise. I have gotten things published on a lot of things. I, I wouldn't say I'm the person to talk to about that. Um, but if you, um, if you, if, are you part of Music Hustler? Because I could direct you to some people who would. I have some other really great friends who that's all they do is get their music synced and published. I'm not the right person for that. Yes, I have experience in it, but if that's your main goal, I wouldn't. I'm not. I'm not your girl. I can. Um, I can direct you to the right person though. Uh, Kevin says, oh my God, there's a last part to this webinar. There is, Kevin. It just gets better and better. Jessica says, okay, thanks. Yep, no problem. All right, any other questions here? You guys understand it? Let me know if you've signed up. Kevin says, it really does. Jason says, thank you so much. Zachary says, thank you for the Reverb Nation tip. Yay, I'm getting a feature shot. Hey, awesome. Isn't that cool? Reverb Nation, another big one is Sonic Bids. I just covered that last week. If you joined, you could get the replay for that. Sonic Bids is another really big one. Um, Jad says, looking forward. I look forward to seeing you there as well, Jad. Okay, so I promised that I was going to give away one free annual membership, okay? And don't worry, if you already signed up, you'll get a refund if you already signed up, okay? Um, but I'm going to choose one person. And Jason says, can we replay this video later on? Yes, I usually send out the replay tomorrow or Sunday. So that will show up in your email. Uh, don't worry about that. So this is what we're gonna do. Does everybody follow me on Instagram? I am at Christine Morel. Let me see, how do I write in this? Let me see if there's, where's the chat box? I don't know where it's at. Um, at Christine Morel, okay. What I want you guys to do, I'm going to post something. That says, I want you to go on there and I want you to give this webinar a rating between one and 10, okay? One is, man, this sucked. 10 is, you're the best, Christine, okay? Hopefully you guys loved it and hopefully you guys wanna give me a 10. But what you guys, you just rate it, right? Because it helps me know, you know, hey, are people really enjoying this? And then I want you to say, what was the most valuable thing, you know, that you got from the webinar? And if you got followers while we were on the webinar, I want you to also share that. Say, hey, I got, five, 10 followers while I was on the webinar. You know, last week we actually had somebody that sold an album. One of the people that followed them bought an album. So I'm gonna post it on my page right now. So give me one second. Um, I'm gonna post it on the Instagram, okay? It's at Christine Morell, okay? Leo says, I really need to mentor because I'm gonna drop my three albums very soon, but I need a good strategy to succeed. I would recommend joining. Um, Leo, for sure. Musicusterlive.com backslash register. You get so many resources and I'm there every week. So I'd be able to help you walk through the process because it can get very confusing. I mean, guys, you can figure this out by yourself. I did. It took me 10 years before I started making a good living. And again, time you cannot get back. You cannot get your time back. This is why it's so important. So I'm going to post this up for you guys. So I'm going to give you this thing. Give me one second. Webinar where I showed everybody how to get Instagram followers organically. Comment below. Okay, let's see your cover. Yep, next. All right, I shared it. So it's posting right now. If you've been on the webinar, go on there, comment between one and 10. How would you give a rating to the webinar? Post if you, you know, if there was any like moment that you're like, man, that made sense, share that. Okay, share whether you would recommend it, you know, for other people. And then share whether you got followers while you're on the call. So if you got like five followers, put that. Hey, I got five followers, I got 10 followers. And the great thing about those followers is some of them are gonna comment, they're gonna like your post, you're gonna get engagement. It's gonna help the algorithm go, man, we like his or her music, let's show it to more and more people. That's how that works. That's why you need engagement. That's why you need more followers to expose your music to more and more people. Bennett says, thanks for all the help today. Damara says, yes. CBG says, I want to tell my story in my songs. Katara says, thank God. Yes, we will be sending out those replays. If you haven't signed up yet, musicusterlive.com backslash register. I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to post your comment on here before I choose somebody, okay? So I just posted something on there. On today's webinar, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, it showed up. So I want you to comment what you thought. Let me see if it already popped up. I don't like that cover thing, hold on. Okay, let's see here. Fresh, 
All right, I already got two comments here. I'm going to start reading them. Jason Queen says, Ten, you are absolutely amazing. I love your passion and amazing confidence. I would love to be mentored by you. Awesome. Thanks, Jason. I got a 10. Yay. Jad says, Great tips. Got 10 extra followers from the right genre. Awesome. You already got 10 followers. Uh, Stress God says, Honestly, a 10. This webinar really made me realize why I need a, more of a target audience. I got five followers while on the webinar. Awesome. Yes, that target. I mean, that. I think if anything, right, that's one of the biggest things that we could learn today because so many people just say, get as many followers as you can. And I'm here telling you guys, many followers. Okay, so I'm going to open this again. Let's see what we have here. I have to refresh every time to see comments. My Instagram's weird now. Okay, I got four comments here. Um, all right, cool. Jenny says, great webinar today, total 10. So cool. Helpful, great tip and a reminder to engage with members of artist communities with music similar to yours. Thanks, Jenny. Thanks so much for joining. Um, have you guys, are you guys able to find it? Oh, Margie says you can't see where to put the rating, but a 10. Okay, so Margie, you have to go to my Instagram. So there's a video that I just posted of me, right? I don't know if you guys can see it. Look, it's right there. The very first video. I'm right there going, if you were on today's webinar, let me know what you thought about it, okay? Right there is where you're going to post it on my Instagram. Dakota says this helps a lot. I'm definitely going to sign up. Definitely sign up. Um, it is gonna go to 197 a month. Sign up right now, it's only $47 a month as those spots have um, filled up, the price goes up, guys. So make sure to join um, as soon as you can, okay? And then if you, uh, Damara says, I don't see the chat, but I just got three followers already on Instagram. I'm on the second hour of following Courtney Love followers. Awesome. Very, very cool. Um, Damaris, if you haven't posted that, go ahead and post it on the Instagram. We have that on my Instagram. There's that video. I don't know if you can see me right there. That video, that, that first video that I put there, that's where you're going to want to put your comment because I'm going to choose one person and I'm going to give away an annual membership to Music Hustler. So you're going to get a free Music Hustler membership today. Uh, Damara says, doing it now. Margie says, now you can't find my Instagram. So it's at Christine Morell. Okay. Christine is K-R-I-S-T-I-N-E. And I'm trying to find it. I always have problems with this chat. And I always have problems with it. And Morell is M-I-R-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. I'll give you guys a few more minutes to post here. Okay. So that way we can choose our winner. I'm gonna go through here right now. We got 14 comments. I'm gonna start reading these. All right, I am Bennett Music says, I rated a 10 for several reasons. Not only did I get valuable information, but you also showed us exactly how to go about doing these things, which a lot of these webinars don't do. And I got six new followers, woohoo. You also did a live webinar, which a majority of these webinars aren't. And I very much appreciated that. Yes, usually they're just replays. Um, and I always post the replays and stuff like that, but I like, I, I, I like being here with you guys. Um, let me see here. Bolden says, great job on the webinar. Very uplifting and energetic. Thank you. Thank you. Walks says, really helpful webinar. She's down to earth and genuinely helpful. Love it. Kevin says, this one amazing. Not even kidding. If you want to get straight to your dreams, let Christine mentor you one to 10. I'd rate a webinar 77. Gained five followers in the webinar. I have an album dropping tonight and this was a blessing. Oh, tonight. Okay. Congratulations. My birthday is midnight. And this was a beautiful birthday present from God. Thank you, Christine. God bless you. Awesome. You spent your birthday with me. Like that's a, an amazing compliment. So thank you. I'm flattered. So happy birthday to you. Elvis says a thousand out of 10. Hey, that's probably the best rating that I've ever gotten. I got two followers in 10 minutes while being in the webinar. I'm definitely joining music hustlers. Your energy and knowledge are incredible. Awesome. Mr. 100, I know you. You're always here with me. Definitely a 10. I am building my email list as we speak. Thank you for everything. I definitely recommend your teachings. Awesome. Real Dakota Craft says it was amazing. Looking forward to putting together, putting everything I learned today to work. Awesome. And that's the thing. Put it in action. You will see results very quickly, but you have to take action. Don't keep saying tomorrow. That's why I put that timer on because I'm like, we're starting now. We're not even getting off the webinar. We're starting right now while we're on the webinar. We're not doing this tomorrow or next week. When you have time, we're doing it right now. That's what that's the value in taking action right away. President Trahan, I think that's how you pronounce it, says, excellent live stream today. I'm so glad that I invested in myself with your services to help my music career, my Spotify pop in. Thank you for everything. Awesome. All right, cool. We got a few going on here. I'm going to give you guys probably another minute here 
to post if you haven't yet. Have you guys been able to find it? Uh, who is the artist who has an album dropping? You know, they were on the Instagram here. If you go to the Instagram, they commented on the Instagram, so they would be there. Henry says, go. Margie says, found it. Ginny says, taking action now, even when the action might not be perfect. And that's the thing. Good point, guys. Too many people wait till everything's perfect. Everything will never, ever be perfect. It never will be perfect. All right? You have to take action. That's a big difference in who is productive. It's not always the best. In fact, it's rarely the person that's the best in their field. It's the people that take action. Jason says, just got a new follower. Awesome. See, we're getting followers still while we're on here. All right, here. Uh, Jason says, just got a new follower. This is great. Let's see. Margie says, I rated a 10. You're so real and down to earth indeed. The GOAT. Greatest of all time. That's what it is. GOAT is greatest of all time. Yes. Okay. Thank you for uh, clarifying that, Margie. Um, Jason says, I love how detailed you are and how much time you spend with everything on the webinar. I really feel you can help me in my band repeal. Thank you so much. Awesome. Maggie says, this woman is a real deal. Holy field. Hey, I'll take that. Please listen to her if you want to make a good living doing music. This webinar alone is gold. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Kenny Logic. I have some digital marketing knowledge already. The webinar helped me gain more strategies to help build my page. Already gained a few followers while in the watching. Perfect. All right. I'm going to uh, just refresh this one more time, and then I'm going to pick a winner. Okay. So let me exit out of here. Has everyone had a chance to go up there? Katara says, I needed to hear that. Got to take actions to know even if you're even close to perfect. Guys, I'm telling you right now, my first album that I put out was God Awful Terrible. It was so bad. Like, it's one of those things that I'm like, I don't even want people to hear it because it was so bad. I listened to it and I'm like, what was I thinking? It's so embarrassing. But that album led me to create another album that was just a little bit better. And then I created another album that was just a little bit better. And then I created, I created eight albums. I put in an album a year and I created a ton of songs and I got better and better and better and better. And then suddenly I was on tour around the whole world, making a living, building my first house from music that I made from, from money that I made from music, right? And I had a career doing what I loved, but it started from taking that action, right? They always say, what's that saying? Take imperfect action. You have to start. And so many people don't start because they're like, man, what if people don't like it? Well, I'm going to tell you guys something. There's going to be lots of people that don't like it. Okay. Done. Out of the way. There's going to be lots of people that don't like it. In fact, most people probably won't like it. That's just what it is. And it's not even that you're not talented. It's not that you don't work hard. It's just sometimes they just don't like your style of music. There's going to be lots of haters. It's all going to happen. I get tons of haters, guys. I get like, 30 or 40 messages a day that are bad, that are bad. Where people are like, I hope you die. Like I get some crazy stuff every day. It's just part of the game. You keep releasing, you keep going. It's just what it is, okay? So once again, you have to get started. All right, let me see here. I'm checking one last time to see if there's any other comments. We got a few more comments that came in and then I'm choosing. Uh, let's see here, newest first. Uh, I am Bennett says I rated a 10 for several reasons. Not only did I get valuable information, but you also showed us exactly how to go about doing these things. Oh, wait, I already read that one. Uh, 10 out of 10 webinar. Let me see if there's anyone in here that I didn't uh, read. Okay, Space Cadet says this webinar was excellent. Even in space, we strive to stay organic and make meaningful gravitational connections. We're on board for Music Custer Live. Hey, I'll, I like that one, okay? Even from space. All right, let's say here. Uh, Kevin says, guys, whoever asked, I'm dropping the album tonight. That's Kevin. So he's on there. Make sure to follow him and like him and, and support him. Uh, Jason says, I'm definitely joining your whole program and I'm building a whole new email as well. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, this is what I'm going to do. So we have a total of 27 comments. Um, a few of you commented a few times. So depending on what it is, I'm going to do a random number generator here. This is really cool. I'm going to show you guys a little something that I do. We're going to go here. We're going to go to Google. And we are going to go to random number generator. And we're going to go 1 through 27. And let's see what we got. We got 18. All right, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 17, 18. 
All right. And I'm going to take away because this there was multiple comments. So one, two, three. So let's do three more. Two, three. Okay, we got stressed God. Who is that? Who's that in my webinar? Because that's what you are on Instagram. You've won the annual membership. I need one of those blowhorns. Whoever you are, I'm going to write you right now because I don't know your name in the um in the chat, but I know you on Instagram. I'm gonna message you right now. So I'm gonna put you one. It was Katara. Katara, awesome, you won. Congratulations. Everybody wish Katara uh, congratulations. Put it in the in the in her Instagram. Is she is stressed God on Instagram? Kevin says, congratulations. Jad says, congratulations. Katara, I'm gonna text you right now on Instagram. You one, I'm going to put, send me your email so I can get you set up. Okay. So you just need to send me your email and I'm going to get you set up. You want an annual membership so that we can work together every week. Again, this is every single Monday, right? This is every single Monday that you're going to come and join. You're going to get all of these resources. You're going to get the lists and the books. You're going to get the courses on how to get paid to perform on how to get your music on media. And then we're going to be able to meet every single Monday and you got this for free just for being here today. So congratulations. Um, Kevin says, what's her Instagram? It is stressed. God is what her Instagram is on here. Um, Anthony says, congrats on the annual membership, invaluable information and mentorship. SDBG says, awesome. Congratulations. Elvis says, congratulations. Very, very cool. Thank you so much. Um, for just being here, being a part of it. This is one of the funnest parts, right? Giving away free stuff. Like I told you guys, when you're a part of the program, I give away a lot of cool things. We just gave away a recording studio yesterday. It got shipped out today to someone who won. I think she was in uh, Georgia, I think it was. We shipped it out to her, which was really awesome. Um, Jason says, thank you for sharing all of this great info. I have it listed here one more time. If you've been here during the webinar and you'd like to join, $47 a month. It's $197 for the year. It is going to go up to $197 a month. So I would recommend joining. Um, you can register at musichustlerlive.com backslash register. You can sign up directly there by PayPal or credit card. It comes with a 30-day money back guarantee. So you're able to get all these resources and you're able to join and you're able to come every week and you're able to go, this works. I love this. Or if you don't love it, we can give you a refund. But I promise you, this is going to be life changing if you apply what I taught. If you liked what you saw today, this is basically what we do every Monday. We do it every single Monday. And it's exclusive. It's only for members of the group, right? Today was open to everybody, but Mondays are open just to the group. All right, everybody, if you don't have any more questions, I'll give you guys another 60 seconds. Post any other questions that you have before I log off. I want to thank you guys again for joining me and thank you for being so positive. I've loved reading your messages in the chat. Uh, you guys are just really incredible for being here once again. I uh, really applaud yourself because so many people are not going out there and learning. They're not self-educating themselves. They're not doing anything to contribute to their career and you are. So uh, let's see here. Jenny says, just joined Music Hustler. Thank you. See you Monday. Awesome. I will see you Monday. I'm excited. Make sure that you get all that information. The email will show up. If for any reason you don't get the email, DM me on Instagram, okay? Again, there's a customer service rep. We get a lot of emails from there. Just tell her, hey, I'm trying to join Music Hustler. I haven't gotten my email yet. Here is my email and we'll send it to you because occasionally it goes to spam or something like that, but you should get it. Make sure to request us in the Facebook group, right? Make sure to request to join the private Facebook group. I mean, because there's a really, really valuable place in there. I post a lot of stuff. Everybody else is posting their stuff. You can share your music. You can collaborate with others. I share the link to our Monday, you know, webinars that we have and that sort of thing. So make sure to uh, request that once you join. Um, Jason says, just got another follower. See, you're still getting followers. And as long as you do this every day, you'll continue to get followers all the time. One of my favorite things was I would go to sleep and then I'd wake up the next day and I'd have like 30 new followers. It's the coolest thing ever. All right, guys, if you don't have any questions, then I am going to go ahead and log off. I just want to thank all of you again for being here. We have our, uh, our musichustlerlive.com backslash register for anybody who wants to 
join. Elvis says, I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I finally did and I don't regret it at all. This is just the beginning. It is the beginning. And we're about to do a whole lot of amazing things together. Join us on Monday, okay? Don't miss those. Those are, those are the most valuable things that we have. Sechi says, thank you. Thanks for coming, Sechi. Uh, you're, you're always so active in this. So thank you so much for, for really putting in a big effort with everything. Uh, Ginny says, thank you. Kenny says, thank you. Damara says, do I have to re-register to sign up? Uh, if you're talking about, are you talking about Mondays, Damaris? Um, Because if you've already registered for Music Hustler, you'll immediately get, um, you'll get uh, invites on Sunday. You'll get an invite to the Zoom call on Sunday. And we post it in the Facebook group. The link will be in the Facebook group as well. And you get an email like one hour before it starts so that it, it reminds you. Um, so, uh, Jason, it's 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Monday. So, yeah, Damaris, it'll always be there. I always post it in the group, and you always get it directly to your email. So, you don't need to re-sign up for anything. You automatically get it. Just make sure you got that welcome email. Um, if you didn't get the welcome email, you need to reach out to me on Instagram, okay? And then we'll get you taken care of. Anthony says, always a pleasure. Jason says, okay. Thanks. Anthony says, everybody keep kicking ass and taking names. All right, guys. Thank you once again for joining me today. I am logging off. I hope that everybody has an amazing weekend and hopefully I will see you guys again. All right, bye everybody.